And we are live. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. Nick and Gemma have joined me. Hello. And we're here for game two of the Steffenfeld City Collection. Steffenfeld City Collection. Been practicing saying that all day. <laughs> um, this is Amsterdam. This is the new uh, re implementation of Macau. Uh, old classic Steffenfeld game, long since out of print and going for crazy money. Uh, but yeah, this is the new version. This is Amsterdam. Tonight, we're going to be doing a three player playthrough. We've all played before, mm -hmm. mostly. Sort of. Sort of. Practice rounds. Uh, so we're going to be teaching you the rules as we go along. A few things before we start. First of all, I assume everybody can hear me and see me. Yeah, sound and video is okay. Thank you very much, Rene. Um, yeah, a few things before we start. First of all, thank you very much to Queen Games for asking me to be involved in these uh, games. I'm a huge Stefan Feld fan, so when Queen Games reached out to me and they said, we want you to cover all of the games in the Stefan Feld City Collection, I had a little dance. <laughs> I did a little victory dance. Uh, and half a pint of shandy to celebrate. So, uh, yeah, I was very happy that they asked me to create them. Um, but in addition to the sponsorship from Queen Games, I do rely on the support of the Patreon campaign to keep the channel going. So if you're a Patreon supporter of mine, thank you very much. Uh, and if you're not, then please consider supporting me at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. One final thing before we start. We're going to try and get the rules right tonight. I hope we get the rules right, but in the heat of the moment, yeah. one of us may make a slight play mistake or something like that. So if you're watching this live and you spot us doing anything wrong, please let us know in the chat, and we'll, we'll, we'll try and fix it. Uh, but if anything is spotted afterwards, I will add Klingon subtitles in. So if you're if you're watching this back afterwards, I would recommend you turn on the subtitles, change them to the Klingon channel, and then if anything gets spotted after we've done this and told me, told to me, then we'll add the subtitles in. So, right, that's it. Cool. Let, let's crack on. And as I say, we're going to be teaching you how to play the game uh, as we go, but I'll give you a very quick overview. Uh, we are going to be playing the game over 12 rounds, which is tracked on... New camera mounted in the ceiling. Uh, so the 12 rounds are going to be tracked on here. It's Nick's job, because he's the nearest, to yep. move that round marker down. Mm -hmm. um, and in each of the 12 rounds, we are going to be using cubes as resources. The cubes are resources in this game, to be performing lots and lots of different actions. The mechanism by which we will get the cubes is very clever and very... Uh, difficult sometimes to choose what, very, which ones you want. Very thinky. Very thinky. But essentially, we will be getting a certain number of cubes and we will be placing them in our rondel here. And every round the rondel will move and whatever was in the one section are the cubes that we have to spend for that turn. You spend the cubes on performing various actions, such as taking ownership of various blocks here, which will get these goods. <coughs> You can then load the goods onto your barge, which you can sail around here and deliver the goods to get points. You can also pick up the dock workers, which is new for this version, uh, and drop them off at their appropriate docks. You can sell goods to the black market. Uh, what else can you do? You can purchase and activate tile, uh, cards. Cards. Cards is a big part of the game. So we are going to be getting cards. We're going to get one card to start with, and we must take one card at the start of each round. Mm -hmm. We, the cards will go below our player board and then we have to spend the resources, spend the cubes in order to activate the cards. And activating in this game means moving them from below our player board to above our player board. And the reason why it's important is this game has a penalty system. So there are a few things in this game which if you do wrong, you will get a penalty token. And the penalty tokens are very punishing. If you have one penalty token at the end of the game, it's minus three points. If you have two, it's minus eight. And every penalty token beyond the second is minus seven points at the end of the game. Um, and any cards that we have taken, remember you have to take a card each round, any cards that you have taken which you haven't activated, you get a penalty token for each one. So yeah, there's a, there's a number of things in the game you need to avoid doing in order to get penalty tokens. Right, I'm just going to show you the player reference cards. So the game comes with two player reference cards per players. Um, and each one of these is two-sided. And it's actually got a summary of everything that happens in each phase of the game. So I'm just going to go through this very briefly now. Remember, 12 rounds in the game, each round consists of four phases. Phase one, this tells you how many cards we're going to put into the display. We're a three-player game, so we always put two district cards. But then on even on odd-numbered rounds, we put two craftsmen uh, and one building. And on odd-numbered rounds, sorry, on even-numbered rounds, we put one craftsman and two buildings. So basically there will be five cards in the display. We then all take a card and we put it below our player board and then you discard the remaining two cards. So essentially phase one, we all get one card. In phase two, the dice are rolled and each player will choose two of those dice, but the choice that we make is independent of the other player. So I could choose the same dice as Gemma, 
we could all choose the same two dice if we wanted to. You're not taking the dice and removing them, you're just nominating the dice. The dice that you choose will determine the colour of the cubes that you get, how many you get, and where they go in your rondel. Once we've done that, everybody will rotate their rondel one space, and then we do phase three. Now, phase three is the actions. There's lots and lots of actions in the game. Right? We'll go on to these in a bit more detail later on, but most of the actions that you do in the game will cost you the resource cubes. Uh, some of them, all of these actions, can be done as many times as you want in your round, which is why there's the infinity icon here. These, these three actions, these can only be done once each, which is why there is the one times. We all take our turns at once. In other words, it isn't one action and then the next player one action. When it's your turn, you do all of your actions. In phase four, and this is new for Amsterdam, that's different from Bruges, Macau, Macau. Uh, you can keep one cube. So in, in, in Macau, you had to spend all of your cubes on your turn. You couldn't keep any. In Amsterdam, you can keep one cube from one turn to the next. Um, that's basically it. Phase four is basically just, just sort of clean up. So that's an overview. What I will say before uh, we start is we've, we've done the setup. So if we look at the top part of the board, what we've got is we've got these dock, walker, dock workers. These dock workers are new. There are 12 of them in, in the game. Uh, six different colours and two each. So these were randomly assigned to the six different docks with two rules. First rule is you cannot have two dock workers of the same colour on the same dock. And the second rule is, if you notice, the docks have each got a colour and you cannot have a dock worker of the same colour as the dock because the dock workers, they are waiting to go to work and they want to go to the docks of their colour. So this yellow dock worker here wants to go there, for example. So that, that was that setup. If we look at the bottom of the board, we've got, uh, and we're using the deluxe components tonight, so these are nice acrylic tokens. These are all of the goods. These were randomly distributed over the different blocks. So we have 36 different blocks, but they are color coded into six districts. So we have the pink district over here. There are specific names for these districts. I'm just gonna call <laughs> it the pink one. Uh, the purple district is here. The black district is here. And note that a district can extend over a bridge. The orange district, uh, the grey district and the brown district is here. Now, at the start of the game, uh, we have chosen two tiles at random. Two tiles because it's a three-player game. Yeah. So what you do is that there is a tile for each of the six districts and you pick two of them at random in a three-player game. These districts are going to score at the end of the game. So at the end of the game, we are going to score whoever's got the most ownership markers in the purple district is going to score five points. Second place is two points and the same for the orange district. So these were randomly chosen at the start of the game. The other thing we've randomly chosen is the order on the track. So like a lot of Stefan Feld games, uh, right, press the wrong button, we, ha we have the Amstel River is here, I'm on the bottom, then it's Gemma, then it's Nick. This determines the turn order, and again, like in a lot of Feld games, you can, you can move up this track. If you move beyond the bridge, you'll get the points printed on it but the order of the markers on this track determine first player. And if it's tied, it goes from top to bottom on there. So Nicky's going to take the first turn of the game. Right. I think that's it for an overview. The black market worth talking we, Yeah, we'll about? talk about the black market okay. when we take a good. Yep. We've also got the market tiles. So the market tiles is different. If you know Macau, the market tiles are different. There are 12 market tiles in that stack, and we're going to reveal one at the start of the game. The market is a once per turn thing. So once in the first turn of the game, we can all spend two money, two money to gain four points. It will be a different market tile uh, each round of the game. I think we're ready to do the, the last part of setup. So okay. the last part of setup is... <coughs> what? Yeah, what was it? It was two... Yeah, oh, gotten. <laughs> in setup, it is... Here we go. Three play game, it's two characters and two buildings. Right, so we want two characters yeah. and two buildings. And then what's gonna happen is in reverse player order, so me first, we take one of these. Now I'm using the cards that have got text on. There is a version of the game uh, where you just get the iconography, but there is an extra pack of cards that you can buy that's got the text on. We're using the, the cards with the text on because it's easier to learn. But if you do only have the cards with the icons on, don't worry. There is a separate booklet included with the game which will help you learn it. But once you get to know the iconography, uh, you'll, you'll be okay. Right. So because I'm the last player, 
I get to choose one of these cards. And, well, I think I'm going to take this one. Okay, so the cards that you take must go below your player board. You have space for five cards below your player board. If you ever take a sixth card, that's bad. You lose one of the cards and you get a penalty token. So, I've taken that card. Gemma, which card do you want to take? And if you need an explanation of any of them where the text isn't clear, let me know. And could I take the other blue one? Then it has the The Yes. There you go. What does um what does this mean then? So after moving your barge at least two spaces, after moving at least two spaces with your barge gained one point. Yeah, is that so, every round? Yeah. So every round in which you move your barge at least two spaces, mm. you can put a windmill token on that card to gain a point. Okay. Why not? You're gonna take that. Yeah. Right. So the card that isn't chosen gets discarded. The final part of setup. Uh, is Nick, you must choose one resource cube to go in your number one segment, yeah, and then two resource cubes that go in the number two segment. The two resource cubes that Nick chooses to put in his number two segment must be the same, but may or may not be the same as the one you put in the one. Mm -hmm. So, what and, and this is done in turn order because we need to see what you're taking, yeah, mainly I think because of buying here. For example, mm -hmm. if you take a pink one. Yeah. then you might buy that. There's very little point us taking a pink one because mm -hmm. then it's already gone, yeah. for example. But yeah, what are you going to take? Um, I I am going to take a pink one and I'm going to take two greys. Okay, so he's taken a pink, put it in the one, and two greys, put it in the two. Gemma? Um, can I take an orange and two greys, please? I've got the two greys if you want to grab the orange, Nick. Sorry, yeah. There you go. Well, my choice has been determined by, by this, so I'm going to take one grey and put it in the one, and two black and put it in the black. Right, that is set up done. So now we are going to take first round of the game. So 12 rounds, round one, phase one, yeah. we deal some cards out. So we always deal two district cards. We haven't seen those yet. And then, because it's an odd-numbered round, we get two characters, and we get one building. And then, in turn order, we each choose a card. So turn order is very important in this game, because there's a lot of combos in the game, and if you're going first, you get basically the first choice of the cards that come out. Um... Rene's helping us with the translations. Thank Excellent. you very much, Rene. So the Brower, I think I, I worked this one out based yeah. on the picture. It's a Brewer. Excellent. So we're good with that one. Um, I'm going to go simple, and I'm just going to take this one here. Yep. Okay. And remember, every time we take a card, it goes below our player board. Gemma? I'm going to take the other um, district one. The other district one. Um, They're not so easy, the ones you're left with. No. Are they? So for those people who don't know the game, and we're going to explain this more in <clears throat> detail later on, this cost here is the cost that you need to pay to activate the card. So this one here is quite difficult to activate. And sometimes in the game, you just want to take a card so that you can activate it. Just even if you're not going to use the ability of it. Um, I mean, that's not too bad. This one's nice. Dewag. Rene, what does Dewag mean? <laughs> uh, and it, this is when you deliver cheese, get four points. Which one's yours? When you deliver... Um, the this blue one here right does it say tiles tiles okay tiles. so there must be one of those for each of the different goods yeah. in the game that does look quite difficult i'm i'm going to take this one which is the tulip picker i'm mm -hmm. going to guess okay okay so that goes below my play board these two cards get discarded they won't play any further part in the game mm -hmm. right okay so that's phase one done phase two we roll the dice okay Nick gets to roll the dice because he's the first player. I think you want a mix of high and low. You think? I, think I just want all sixes. You do? <laughs> <laughs> oh! What did I put? Oh, cracking. Well, you said high and low. <laughs> yeah. You've literally high <laughs> and low. Yeah. Okay, right. So they are the dice that have been rolled. We now, independently of each other, and you can do this simultaneously, but the rule book says that if players want you to do it in order, you can do it in order, and that's what we're going to do 
just for the playthrough. So Nick, which two dice are you going to choose? Uh, I'm going to take five purples. Yep. Yeah. And I am going to take, I think, two browns. Okay, so what he's done is because he chose purple, and purple was five, he takes five purple cubes and puts them in the five segment then he chose brown, which was two, so he takes two brown cubes and puts them in the in the two segment. Gemma, what would you like? Um, can I have two browns and one orange, please? And one orange? Ooh. What, what, what are we thinking? Because I think somebody wants to get a card out. So as we know, I'm, I'm quite greedy, and in any game where I get the opportunity to take lots of resources, I do. So could I have four grey? Yeah, and, and five, five purple. Yeah, okay. So there's. I'm going to regret this later. <laughs> four of those. So I put the four grey in my four segment. Oh, I'm going to give you a big cube. And the big cubes represent five. That goes in there. Okay. So once we've all done that, everybody now rotates their rondel at the same time. Now, having played Macau a lot, I would recommend that you do that. I have found some people get in the habit of once they've taken their cubes, they rotate. Mm hmm. And what happens is some people have forgotten and some people don't. And, and suddenly you'll... So it's much easier mm. if you say, right, everybody ready? Everybody rotate at the same time. Because then you then you can be sure everybody's done it together. Uh, it's a scale or weighing machine. Right? Thank you very much. And yes, you still get a penalty. So good point, Thomas. At this point, if we've rotated our rondels, if the segment that is now pointing... Uh, if, if the arrow is at which is the active segment, if that was empty at this point, we would get a penalty token. And I'm going to mention this now. Even if you'd have saved a cube from the previous round. So if you save a cube from the previous round, you now have that cube to spend, but it doesn't stop you getting the penalty. So for example, if we look at my player board, I have an empty segment on number two. So if I don't put a cube in there next round, it will go to the number one. If I then don't put a cube in there that round, and it rotates to there, I'm going to take a penalty token. So that's one of the things you want to try and avoid, but you need to decide whether it's whether it's worth it for you. Okay, we've all done that. We now go to phase three. So before we go into more detail, uh, I'm just going to explain the different actions that you can do in phase three. And I'm going to, I'm going to explain them like in one sentence each, because there's a lot of different actions. Right, the first action here to explain is you can activate a card. Activating a card, you spend the cubes printed on the card and you move the card to above your player board. Mm -hmm. You can only use a card, in other words, get the ability of it once it's above your player board. If it's below your player board, it's a dead card. It, it can't do anything. Right. The next action to explain is that you can use a card. So the terminology here is important. Activating a card means moving it above your player board. Using a card means actually using it and using the ability that's printed on it. Uh, which is a once per turn thing. So what you do is you put a windmill token on it to show that you've used it. The next action is moving your barge. Basically, it costs you one cube to move your barge one space. And you can do that as many times as you want to. So you spend five cubes, you can move your barge five spaces. And they can be any color as well. And they can be any color, absolutely any color. The next action is you can, uh, is that loading goods? Yes. because it's got that's loading it, goods, yeah. yeah. So if your barge is at one of the cranes, you can load goods uh, onto your barge. Now, that, that's a change, again, from Macau. In Macau, you could just load your goods onto your barge wherever. Uh, but here, you've got, your barge has got to actually be uh, at a dock for you to be able to load. Also, and we'll go into this in a bit more detail later on, but if there's a dock worker, you can pick up a dock worker and you get paid for it, which is what that is. Uh, this is dropping off a dock worker. You can drop off a dock worker um, into the magazine and you get points for that. You can also deliver goods, which is the bottom bit. So you deliver goods onto the board and you'll get points for that. They are all of the actions that you can do as many times as you want to. Over here on the right hand side, there are three actions that you can only do once. The first one is you can take ownership of one of the blocks um, in, the, in, in the city itself and you gain the good that's on it, mm -hmm. which you can keep or you can sell to the black market. You can spend cube to move up the Amstel River track, which is the turn order track. And the final action is that you can use the market tile. And remember, these three are once per round. So that's a very quick overview of all of the different actions in the game. And you're going to see all of them over the course of the game, but you're yeah. not going to see them all in round one. 
So Nick, you've got one cube. Yeah. <laughs> what would you like to do? Yeah, I've been thinking long and hard because we did do a couple of practice rounds before we did. this, and you saved yours for the next round. But you know the reason I saved mine, and I'm going to save mine this round. Yeah. And the reason I'm going to save mine is I have a card which costs one grey and two black to activate. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. So if I save my grey cube, you can get it out. Next right. round, I will have one grey and two black, and I can activate it. So that, you know, spoiler. Yeah. That's what I'm planning to do. Okay. Um, but okay. yeah you've got a cheap furniture here if That's, you wanted it that is what I'm going to go for so okay. I'm going to spend my pink cube it goes back to the board to take the I furniture I take this one so let's just zoom in on, on that so the cost to buy this furniture is one pink cube so I take that one he pays the pink cube he Replace puts his ownership marker, marker on it now at the end of the game there is going to be points for your longest contiguous line of ownership markers mm -hmm. Now, that good can either immediately go to the black market, mm -hmm. or you can keep it to sell later on. And the black market can only have one good of each type in it. Mm. So what would you like to do with that furniture? Um, I'm going to keep it for myself. You're keeping it. Okay. That's that, it. That's your cube spent. The only other things that you can do that don't cost cubes are, you can load that good onto your barge, if you want to. And there's no reason not to, because your barge can hold an infinite number of resources. Mm. Your opportunity to sell to the black market has gone. Yeah. So that must be made immediately when you take the good. Yeah. So you might as well load it onto your barge. Okay. Because you can only you can do that if you're at a dock and that counts as a dock. But you said the barge can have an unlimited amount, is that it's right? It's an infinite it's like the TARDIS. <laughs> it's a TARDIS on its side yeah. with rubber rings okay. around it. <laughs> cool. I think it says that in the rule book somewhere. I'm oh, sure it it does so. in my copy of the rule book anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and the only other thing I think that doesn't cost cubes is the market tile yes. but the market tile this round costs two gold mm -hmm. every player starts with the gold I did forget to mention that right there we go so you're all done I'm all done Gemma you have two, have two orange, orange cubes. cubes so the first orange cube I'm going to um, spend would you like some cheese the cheese okay there. so you spend the orange cube you pop your ownership marker there and I'm going to send it to the so the cheese market. is going to the black market okay so when you sell a good to the black market as I mentioned, it goes down here. Let's just move out of the way. So no more cheese can be sold to the black market. But when you do, you either get one cube of any colour or two gold. I'm going to take the two gold, but I'm going to immediately spend it for the four points. Okay. So, Nick, I'm going to press this button because you like this button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick likes the, to see the camera move. I love that. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, so this is the market tile for this round. Two gold for four points. You can only do this once. So, Gemma, you're spending the two gold that yep. you just got for four points. Yeah. There you go. You've still got a cube left. I've still got a cube. I'm actually going to save it for the next round. You're going to save it for the next round? Yeah. Okay. My go. Uh, I'm going to do nothing. Okay. And I'm going to save my grey cube for the next round. Right. That's it. That's the end of the first round of the game. So we advance the round marker. Yep. We get a new market tile. So the market tile for this turn is three money for five points. Okay. If we'd have used any of our cards, those markers would now come off. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. Round two. Cool. Okay, so cards. Uh, we always get two districts, but because it's an even numbered round, we get one character and we get two buildings. And turn order has not changed, so it is Nick to choose first. Uh, I'm going to go for this one here. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for the second um, district. The slightly easier one yeah. to build, but yeah, the ability is not quite as not strong. Not quite as good. Um, well, oh, yeah. So there was a combo here. That card actually comboed with the two districts that came out this round. Hmm. But this one is easier to play. No, I think I'm going to take this one. Did you mention the cards that aren't activated at the end get penalties? Did, yeah. Did. Every card that you don't activate is a penalty at the end of the game. Shall we roll? You are first, so yes, off we go. I'd like a two, as long as one of them is a two. Yeah, I agree. Nick? <laughs> Shall we roll? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I needed a two as well. I needed okay. two. Oh, so we all needed a yeah. two, which means we all need a one next turn. I mean, if we all get a penalty token, that's fine. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> big numbers. They are big numbers. Mm. Quite exciting big numbers. 
Um, okay. I'm going to take... A black six. And so six black cubes in the six spot. Yeah. And I'm going to take a... Uh, I want a five, really, don't I? So I'm going to take a pink five. Okay. Gemma? I'm going to take um, a f orange four. Or four oranges. Okay. Oops. Yeah. And um, six grey cubes, please. Six greys. Well, I'm definitely taking four oranges, because I'm trying to get purple, orange and pink in the same segment. Thank you. Um, but as far as the second one... I've no particular preference. So let's make it six black. Okay, we've all taken cubes. Yeah. We're all ready to rotate. Rotate. Nick, your turn is first. You've got a lot of cubes there. I'm very mm. excited. I've actually got a bumper turn okay. planned. Four cubes. That I worked right? out while you were doing your Okay. for my second round. <laughs> so I'm going to spend... So you weren't listening to me as well. No, well. I didn't listen to a word. <laughs> Although, is this where my colour blindness lets me down? Is that awesome. grey? Or... That is grey. Oh, I've got a grey one. That's fine, actually. So you're going to buy this piece of furniture? Yeah, I'm going to buy that one. To go with your Place ownership marker. existing piece of furniture? Yeah, thank you. And I'm going to put that one there. Yeah. And I'll take that one. Thank you. And it's not going to the black market? No. And I'm going to instantly load that yeah. one. So you've got two wardrobes on your barge. Then I'm going to spend two. And I need to work out what colour. Where's brown one? Is that this the one here? Brown, dis brown one is there. It's which there. Is cheese. That's a grey one, though. That is grey. So, okay. So I'm going to spend these two brown... Yeah. Here to move my barge one, two. Because you, you can only buy one good from here yeah. per turn. Okay. Oh, can I? Is that right? Yeah, is this this is once per turn. Oh, I didn't realise. Yeah. Okay. I thought you could do more than once. No. So what Nick's done is he's moved his barge. He's spent two cubes. Yeah. He's moved his barge one, two. So mm -hmm. he's arrived at an anchor point, which means he can now sell that, good. that type of good. Now, if you look here, this is a wild card, so you could sell any type of good there. But only worth three points. Whereas here, you can sell furniture. Only furniture. Is that what you want to do? Yes. You've got two furniture so on your two boat. two furniture. So that's three points plus another two points. Um, However, yeah. yeah. So let's go over here. Wrong button. I knew I'd get it wrong. If we look at the round marker, you will see the, the plus six in the victory point symbol. That means that any good sold on round two is worth an additional six points. So instead of three and two, you get nine and eight. So that's 17 points. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's the advantage of collecting mm. all of those cubes early on is, and, and getting the furniture. Mm. So well spotted. Thank you very much. Because those these were dealt out randomly. Yeah. You spotted that the furniture was in the cheap places yeah. and that it's really quick. It to can deliver. be gotten too quickly it to, can be getting to very, do that. Very quick. Because as well, the further away you are from your starting point, the more valuable. Yeah, furniture is not very valuable. But when you're looking at a plus six point bonus for each one, yeah. that makes it suddenly very attractive. You've still got one grey cube left. What would you like to do with that one grey cube? I've not got anything in my one. That's because we just twisted We've it. we just twisted it. Yeah. Oh yeah, all of us have got one segment of eight. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't buy anything else. Nope, so you could advance on the Amstel River. Yeah, okay. Uh, or you could move your boat, or you could save the cube till next turn. But yeah, you can only buy, you can only take possession of one of the districts once per turn. How far away is this crane? It's one, two, three, four. Four. It's quite a long way, isn't it? Mm. I'm going to keep it, I think. Okay. Gemma? Um, so I've got my orange cube from last time. Oh, you've got loads of cubes as well. So I'm going to first of all activate... Ah, so we're activating a card. This card. Yeah, um, so let's okay. just put this on the uh, on the big camera. This is the card that Gemma is activating, and as you can see, it costs one orange, one brown, and one grey. Gemma has those cubes. Thank you. Uh, and what this has, this has an infinite symbol on it. So it basically means that this is now a permanent ability that Gemma's got for the whole game. And that goes above your player board. Yeah. There's no limit to how many cards you can have above your player board. There's just a limit <coughs> below. You've still got a grey and a brown cube left. Yeah. Um... 17 points for delivering two bits of dodgy <laughs> furniture. <laughs> or bits of tat I picked up, yeah. <laughs> It's quite a good move, though, wasn't it? It was a very I'm, good I'm really move. Pleased with that. Yeah, I wish I was the kind of person who actually had time to you know, <laughs> look at Staring a board and work board, out yeah. something. Um, I'm going to spend one brown cube 
to take buy some coffee buy some coffee yeah. there is it, it being sold to the black market black, it is black would you like a cube or two money two money but i'm going to also spend this money for five points using the market tile I'll put that one there. five points there we go okay you've got and a gray cube I've left got a gray cube which i'm actually going to save for the next round. okay right so I've got my two black cubes here and my grey cube that I saved. I'm spending all of them and I'm going to activate my brewer. So my brewer is now <coughs> activate. Now there isn't an infinity symbol on this. It has the three, which means I can use it in phase three. So what the game comes with is these activation, sorry, these action tokens or windmill tokens, whatever, whatever you want to call them. But you use these whenever you use a card. And the game recommends that every time you activate a card that can be used you take one of these windmill tokens and that way if you have any windmill tokens left here that reminds you you've still got cards that you can use uh, using a card is an action that doesn't cost any cubes so i'm going to use the card and it gets me one gold and one point so i get a point and i get a gold so you'll get that every round every single round so we're in round two it's worth 10 points it's a strong card, That's a great card. to get out That's only excellent. because of the new rule that you can keep one cube the downside is mm. that's my first two turns done, effectively, and I haven't done anything else, and I haven't got any cubes left. Mm. So I had to focus on that mm. to do it. But I think it's I think it's a good move. We're all done. That is the end of round two. So these tokens go off. Round we advance the round marker. We need a new market tile. Okay. So let's have a look at the market tile for this current round. It is spend two money to gain three points and one step up on the Amstel River. Totally doing that this round. Right, are we ready for the start of round three? So we want two district cards. We want two characters. Ooh, stolen we Stoffen Weaver. There we go. Right, uh, turn order has not changed. I don't like any of these. You have to take a card, I'm afraid. Oh, okay. I'll take this one. Right, Gemma? Um, can I take the um, one on the right hand side? This one? Yeah. The, the Zuda Kirk. I'm going to take. I think I'm going to take this one. Dice, yeah. Nick, it's still you. I'm like Gemma, I'm getting very nervous now. Well, I need a one and a two this time. Well, the fact that we all need a one means that if you don't roll a one, we all get a penalty. Mm. And you didn't roll a one. That's fine. As I say, we all, we're all getting a penalty. Yeah, well. But we took the gamble. Didn't pay off. Didn't pay off. Turn order is very important, and none of us have moved up the Amstel River yet. Nick, which two dice would you like? <laughs> you said you needed a two as I well. I did, so I'm going to take an orange two. Um, and I am going to take... I'm going to take... Uh... You didn't roll a four. Mm -hmm. You need a four as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to take a purple six okay so i'm really investing a long way into the future yeah i think that's because you played macau quite a lot yes so you must have a bit of an idea in terms of how you want to structure yeah i think i think the first sort of six rounds of this game are relatively slow going mm. with you only having a few cubes but then when you get into the second half of the game you end up with a lot of cubes yeah. and you get to do a lot of actions am i going to take an orange two and um purple six please well, I think I'm going to stick with the, the, the massive greedy, since I don't need a two. So I'm going to take five black, mm -hmm. and I'll take six purple. Yeah. Thank you. Right. And everybody rotate. Click, click, click. So we've all moved to a segment yeah. that has no cubes in it. So even if we'd kept a cube from the previous round, we all now get a penalty token. I have a penalty token. I don't know where this lives. I think it lives maybe here. It's like a broken wheel. So 
So there we go. Okay. Right. So, Nick. Yes. You've got your one cube that you saved from last round. Yeah, I saw this coming, so. <laughs> what would you like to do? Um, I'm going to spend do you, do you it. Do to buy some beer? Yeah, I do, please. So you're going to buy this beer here. Yeah, I'm going to sell it to the black market. Black market please. for two coins. And also building up a little bit of an empire over yeah. here, I like to think. So I get two coins or a cube. Yeah. Yeah, two coins or a cube. I'll, I'll take the two coins. And I'll, I'll spend you, instantly. You're using them immediately. Yeah, please. Yeah, so, so. you're using them on the, on the market tile, which is two coins for three points and one step up the river. Yeah. So you move up the river. And how many points do you put? Three points. Thank you. Is it three points? Yes. Three points. Right. Gemma? Hmm. That's unfortunate because I also have a grey cube, but there's no more number ones. There are no more grey ones that you can buy. But what I am going to do is... You can move up the river. I can move up the yeah. river. So, so we haven't seen this yet, but moving up the Amstel River is something that you can only do once per turn. But when you do it, you can move as far as you want. It costs you one cube to move one space. And for every space you move beyond the first, it costs you two cubes. So you have to decide how many cubes you want to spend and then you move up the river. Uh, and as I mentioned, I think in the overview, you will get the points uh, for these spaces. If anybody ever gets to the top, then you get the 10 points and the first player to get there goes on the one spot and then they're fixed. The next player would go there, then there, then there. So nobody can take that point off uh, that spot often once they're there. Hmm. I have no cubes on my turn, but I am going to spend... Two yeah. gold to gain three points and one step up on the river. Yay! Well, the tables are turned, haven't they? Oh, and I'm also going to activate my building, my uh, my brewer, to gain a gold and a point. Cool. Excellent. Okay, so we're done. End of the round. Tokens comes off. We move on to round four. We need a new market tile. And we get some cards. So... District, district, character, and two buildings. There we go. Right, and it's me first. Well, now that's an interesting combo. My two brewers, one generates me a money, the other one allows me to spend a money to get points. Do like combos. Um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. I'm not sure. Uh, I think, based on the cubes that I've got, I'm going to take this one. I'm also aware that I've got four cards below my player board. Well, I've got four You've already. got four as well. This will be your fifth one. Um, yeah. I'm going to take the, the Burrow card, yeah. please. Thank you. There you go. Is there any easy way to gain a, an extra cube? Selling a good to the black market. But then I'd have to spend the cube to do that, wouldn't I? That's, that's a good point, yes. I need... What you're saying is you want cubes for free. <laughs> <laughs> or I need a black one, yeah. Yeah. Well, oh. it's me that's going to be rolling the dice. So I'm going to take this one then. Okay. I'm getting really scared. Right, off we go then. Phase two. What do you need? A black one. Please. Oh, How about no. a black six? No. Pink one. Black six. Brown five. Grey one. Orange three. Purple four. Right, okay. So, I'm about to get four grey, which doesn't allow me to activate any of these. Oh. I might be in a bit of trouble next turn unless, aha. It's gonna pain me to do so, but, oh. Mm. I'm gonna have to take the pink one. And again, it's gonna pain me to do so but I'm going to take the orange three. I hate taking low numbers. Sometimes you have to. Uh, Gemma, you're next. Um. I 
I'm curious, for those people watching live, or if you're not watching live, leave me a comment. How many of you have played Macau? And what's your initial impressions on the tweaks that you're seeing um, in Amsterdam? I'm going to take um, purple four, please. Sorry. And he's planning his next four moves. <laughs> purple four. And uh, brown five, please. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I'm fine. Right, Nick, do you like... No, I was distracted because I'm getting a little bit concerned because I can't clear any of these cards and there's no way I'm going to be able to do it. Because You're going to be able to clear the purple ones next turn. Well, yeah, I know. But oh, I'm have you mean to take... this turn? Yeah, I can't clear any of them. I needed a black one to get rid of that one. And I yeah, just... you can. Oh, I could swap yeah, it out, Yeah, you can. Can, I? you can. You can buy the oh, wine okay. with the two orange, sell it to the black market, get a black cube mm. and activate your... Oh, okay. Whatever it is. I'm going to take three orange then. There's always a way. And I would like a... I want a high one. I'm going to keep investing. I'm going to go for a black six. I'm going to hope it pays off. So Tobias is saying there isn't much difference. The biggest difference for me is that you can keep one cube from one turn to the next. Okay. Because if you can imagine doing these without being able to store a cube, mm. it's a lot harder to do. Right. So we've all taken our cubes. We rotate our rondels. Now I've got those. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my brewer to get a point and to get a gold. How much is the thing this turn? Two. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. That's quite nice, isn't it? Um, I can tell you now I'm saving the pink. <laughs> <laughs> I took it to save it so that I could play that next round. So I've got four grey. I probably should buy something from here. And is there any beer available in grey? There is. It's very expensive grey though. But I get bonuses for delivering beer. So... Oh. beer down here, isn't it? Yeah. It does make sense, but it's, it is expensive. But I think we've got to do it. I've got to spend three grey. Okay. And I'm going to take ownership of this block and I'm going to buy the beer which isn't going to the black market it's going onto my barge I've got one grey left hmm I'm going to use the um, I'm going to use the market so I spend two gold to gain two points and a cube right now then wasn't expecting that I'm not sure what I can do with this cube because um, I've already bought from here so it's probably going to be moving my barge isn't it oh no I could move up here yeah I'm just going to take a random cube and then I'm going to spend my remaining two cubes one of them is to move one space on the Amstel River and one of them is to leave there and go that way I may be turning around and going back if I buy another beer yeah but for yeah. now that's where we're heading. And I've saved my I saved my pink cube. Okay, Gemma, you're next. So I've got two orange cubes, so I'm gonna spend one to activate this. That, yep. Yeah. And then I'm gonna So you need a windmill token. Yes, please. And then I'm actually gonna You're gonna use it. Use so it's it, spend so one orange resource for one to gain one point. There you go. Okay. So Nick, I'm gonna redeem myself. Has he, has he remembered what we told him? <laughs> I'm gonna spend two orange to buy those bottles it's there, either the, che the cheese from here or yeah. the bottles of wine from here well the cheese has already been sold to the black that's market true. that's and true and I've got a bit of a line going on so I'll take that one which I'll instantly sell to the black market now I could take that one cube which would solve my problem but I can take two money get two points and oh cube. yes so, so you take the two gold spend yeah. the two gold at the market to get two points and a black cube, cube. take a black cube which you use to activate oh and that is a combo. Saves me a bit. Yeah, so you need a windmill token. I need well. a windmill token as well. Yeah. Goodness. That is a combo. Yeah. There are a lot of combos in this game, actually. Yeah. There? Yeah. And as, as we get to the later round, you will see if we mm. get the right cards that there's a lot more combos. Right. We're all done? Yep. So I saved a pink cube. Nobody else saved a cube. We move on to round five. Oh, okay. Uh, windmill tokens come off. <clears throat> 
And off we go, round five. So we need a new market tile. The market tiles, by the way, are seeded. The first six are A tiles, uh, and the next six are B tiles. They've been chosen at, at random. We don't know what they are. So two of those, round five, which means it is two characters and one building. And it's me first. What am I getting? I'm about to get orange and purple. Okay, well. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Uh, I'm just going to take this district. That's my fifth card. Gemma, your choice next. Mm, I was going to take the other district, please. Mm -hmm. The Berg Wallen? Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay, so those get discarded. First player is me. Try not to destroy the board this time. I should have got my dice rolling tray. Grey three. I'm just going to go get my dice rolling tray. <laughs> Are you? It's only over here. <laughs> Much better. Apart from the bottom's loose. There you go. No destruction. So we got a pink six, we got a brown four, we got a black one and a purple one, orange two, and a grey five. Oh. There was a sigh then. Yeah, I really <laughs> want a grey three. Okay, so I'm going to take. Uh, let's just spend a minute just having a look at what we've got here. That's going to go. Oh, oh, hang on. Um, okay, so I'm going to need that to come out at some point. So I'm going to take four brown, pop them in the four. And I'm going to take five grey. Done. Um, I'm going to take uh, two orange and six pink. Well, you needed a two, didn't you? No, actually, can I change? Sorry, five grey. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to take five grey and six pink. Right, okay. Rotate. Anybody got an egg empty segment? No. Nope. Right, so me first. So I've got these and this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to activate my divag, which costs me a pink, an orange, and a purple. So a pink, an orange, and kind of four purple change. And that is now active, and that is a permanent ability. Whenever I deliver beer, I get an additional four points. Right, still got all of these cubes. So if I can get myself a black cube, what's the market tile this turn? Oh, one money for one point and two steps up on the Amstel River. That's pretty good, isn't it? That is very good. So I am going to use my windmill token on there to gain a golden and a point. I will use the gold straight away at the market. I go on there and two steps up on the river. Right. So. Oh, I've got that. I could activate a second card and get ahead of the curve so that I'm not constantly feeling the pressure. But. What pressure are you feeling? The pressure. I've just. <laughs> <laughs> Stress. Of having all of these cards. Um. There is another option of buying some commodities from down here. Yeah. There's a lot of options now. Where am I? Where's my ownership marker? There. Can't really get any combos with anything else. Hmm. I 
probably need to deliver this beer. So I think let's let's plan for two cubes for that. I'm considering buying something, selling it to the black market to get the cube, just to get the card out. But I don't know whether I, I need to. Dog workers are quite a way away. Um, hmm. Right, I'm going to spend two orange and we are going to activate that card. So I need another windmill token. I am then going to use that card to spend this orange to get a gold. So that's that used, that's used, that used. I've then got these four purple. I am going to, I'm definitely saving one of them. So I'm using the other three. I'm going to use two of them. And I'm going to move my barge two more spaces. One, two. And I'm going to sell my beer to there. So that's four points plus three. Did we move round marker? This is round five. I think so, yeah. So four plus three. But I have this. Whenever I deliver beer, I get an additional four points. So four, seven, so 11 points. 21. Right. Um, and then I've got this. Have I paid to move up the river this turn? I haven't. No. I use the market. So I'm going to pay one cube to move one space and I get two points passing that bridge. Okay. Uh, and then I'm saving a purple for next round. Yeah, I'm happy with that, I think. Sorry, it took a while to think about that. Um, I am going to spend one of my oranges to activate this one to get one point. One point. Um, I'm going to spend two oranges to buy the wine, the wine. down there, please. Yeah, you can't go to the black market because so there's I'm already wine there. I'm going to put it straight into my... Yeah, because your barge is still on the dock. Then I've got a final orange. I'm gonna save for next time. Okay. Cool. All right, Nick, you have five purple. Five purple. Um, I'm going to spend three initially, and which is purple? It's the diamond. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna spend three initially. Activate this card. Then I'm gonna spend one, two. Put to buy this one. Tulips? Here. Yeah. Black market or not? Which I'm going to take. Thank you very much. Um, and then my last one. Sorry, can I just look at the board? You're going to activate your Where's... new market card? No, I don't think I will. Uh, where's purple? Purple is this area. Okay. Sorry, just let me... Mm -hmm. Pink is there, yeah. Pink's this area. Pink's only got one. one. Yeah, that's it. The distribution of numbers is different. Mm, okay. Um, I'm going to spend one money um, to do that one. Let's take one point, so please. One point, and is it two steps up? Two steps up, please, yeah. That seems very strong for one... Uh, bad, is it? For one gold. Um, and I'm going to keep this one for next time. Okay, Cause just because your district is a really good one. This one? Yeah, it's one gold and one point. Mm. But I'm struggling need to keep it. for cards here. Yeah. This needs to be my priority. Yeah. I, I know I've got my next two or three turns planned out. Nice. Almost, but yeah. We're all done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So phase four, we remove the windmill tokens. Uh, we move on to round six. We get the final A tile, which is simply one gold for three points. Yeah. And yeah, cool. Off we go. Can I have a quick comfort range. Yeah, yeah, sure. Right. I'll get the district cards out. So what round are we in? So it's an even numbered round, which means it's one of those and two buildings. 
Right, while he's gone, if we take all of his points off him, yeah. see, see if he notices. Yeah. Um, so, it's me first. I've got the time it takes Nick to get back to choose a card. Let's have a look at my things. I'm getting orange this turn. I'm getting lots of black next turn. So that Gracht and Gordel seems quite good. Oh, and in fact, that combos with the card that I've already got. So I think that's an obvious move. I'm going to take that district. So we're going to have to wait for Nick to get back, but which of, which of those of you got your eye on? I don't like any of them. <laughs> okay. In fact, while Nick's gone, we'll explain how the dock workers work, because we've not explained that yet. So the way that the dock workers work, I don't think I've explained it yet, um, but whenever you arrive at one of these docks where there are dock workers, you may load one of them onto your barge. Only one of them, even if there's two there. Uh, and what you do is you remove it from the board, and you gain one gold for that. So the, the so the dock worker pays you, and then what you do is you will place it on your barge. So you do have space on your barge for two dock workers, but you can only pick up one at a time. Now, the colour of the dock worker indicates where they want to go to. So at any point in future, if your barge moves to the dock that corresponds to the colour of the dock worker, for example, this one's white, so it's here, what you can do is you can drop them off. And the dock worker is placed down here in the magazine. So the first dot worker will go there, getting you nine points, plus a possible bonus depending on the round number. Second one goes there, then there, and then all of the ones go here. So that's an extra part of the game included in Amsterdam that wasn't in Macau. <coughs> uh, Nick is back, and Nick has chosen a card. Yeah. Um, could I have the... Have you also taken some key? Sorry, I've split my five Oh, you split your five Right. Manageable. Which one would you like? Um... The, the second one, uh, the, the middle one. The other debug. Yeah. There you go. Right. So, it's me to roll the dice. Maybe the reason why I like going first. Okay. Okay, so we have a black one. We have some threes. And we have a couple of fives. He's sighing again. <laughs> do you know stressing me out? It's these cards. Yeah. I know exactly what I want to do here. But it's, it's yeah. I just don't want to take these penalty tokens and they're hampering me. I shouldn't have. I focused too much those first two turns on getting all those it, points. It was good. It was great. I don't quite, I don't quite know how I caught up. <laughs> uh, right, what do we want? Um, well... That black would actually be quite nice, but it's a one, and I don't want to take a black one when there's so much good stuff there for the future. So I'm going to take pink five, grey five, put them in there. Done. Nick, your choice next. Um, I will take a grey five... And I think I want to take a slightly lower one, or do I want to just keep on the highs? No twos, a few threes, well, orange and purple. Um, well, we've got purple in there. It's an agonising decision, isn't it? It really is. Requires quite a bit of planning ahead for the next few turns as well. I'm going to take a grey. I'm going to take a pink. Again. Pink five? And I'm just going to have a really bumper. Wow, look at that. 16 cubes. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I can't work out if it's a good idea or not. Okay, Gemma? I'm going to... I can't do any of my cards. Unless ah. I'm down there. Yeah, you could. Oh, could you? Oh, no. What have you got? Sorry, you've got... What's that brown there? I'm going to take the a black one. A black one? And... I mean, yeah, you could buy a good with orange, sell it to the black market, mm. take a brown... So I'm going to have to. Yeah. <clears throat> but that's a whole turn, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's the problem. 
But do you need the black? Or are you going to buy something with the black? I'm going to have to use the black to buy some black. Right. Because um, there's no more. I mean, there's oranges. Oh, but there's cheese. Yeah. And there's already cheese there. There's tulips. Tulips, tulips are possible, but you'd have to spend all of your orange because mm. you've got your orange cube that you saved from last time. Yeah, I do. But... Yeah. And I will take pink I'm going to cover five. up these costs. Uh, five pinks, please. Sorry. Have you already taken your other... Oh, you said the black yeah, one, didn't the you? The black one five pink. Right. Are we all ready? Yeah. So rotate. Any penalties? No. No penalties, right. I've got three orange and a purple. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use my brewer to gain a gold and gain a point. I will then use the market and spend a gold to get one, two, three points. Right. I'm then going to use my Jordan district, spend an orange to gain a gold. I'm not going to activate any cards this turn. I haven't bought anything yet, so I probably should buy something. Uh, I've got a purple one which I can't use, so I will spend two orange to buy some cheese, which I cannot load onto my barge because I'm not currently at a dock. So it just goes there. Clever that in there. Yeah. Yeah, it gives an, a whole other dimension to this part of it. Now, I've got one cube left. Because I'm almost able to get to there to sell the cheese. But I can't. Um, so I'll tell you what. I'll spend that one cube to move up the Amstel River. Didn't see that coming. Pick up and deliver? Is this pick up and yeah, deliver? There is a pick up and deliver element to the game. Do you see pick up and deliver in a lot of Euro games? Yeah, you do. well, a few. But it's the way you pick up is a, is a separate part of the game. Mm. So, uh, that is me done. Okay. Yeah, so I've used the market. So, yeah, we're finished. Cool, so it's me. So I've got quite a lot of cubes. Huh? You do. Um, okay, I'm going to spend these three orange... Three oranges. Three orange to activate this card here. After advancing at least one space on the canal, gain one point. Okay, right. I'm going to spend this purple to gain one point and oh, one gold. You want but, some, uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, it's activation tokens. Yes, I do. Sorry. So, But I'm going to put that one in there straight away. And I'm going to do this one here. So it's four points. So it's effectively four points. Me, yeah. So, um, I don't need more four. tokens. Um, so what have I got there? Four pink. Yeah, so as long as you advance at least one space on this canal... I get one point. You get a point. Right. Yeah. Okay. Can I... What tulips can I get in pink? It's three, isn't There's it? There's a three-cost pink tulip there. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll... it's quite expensive. Is that expensive? I can't decide. Yeah, but... <laughs> well, needs must. If, if you need it. So I'll take that one. Yeah. And an ownership marker... Goes here. Goes here. Yeah, I'm going to put it yeah. over the cost because. Okay. Put it over. I've got two pinks left. Do I. Do you save move up the canal? Save one. Save. Get rid of a card and get just that little bit of pressure on myself. Mm -hmm. Or do I move on at the canal and save one? Oh, sorry. I am going to. It is tricky because, uh, yeah, that that pressure of having these cards. But I'm I don't want to, but I'm going to do it. Okay, so you spend two cubes to activate that card. Yeah, and I think Take that is the most token. punishing bit of this game, actually. Yeah, cards. having to and having to get through these cards. Them. Yeah. Okay, Gemma, <clears throat> you've got um, so two I'm orange and a black plus the orange that you saved. So I'm going to spend the three oranges to. Um, Buy the tulips. Buy the tulips. And it's going straight into, straight into the black market. To buy a brown to cube. To buy a brown cube, which you then use. I'll give you that one, which I'm going to spend to activate this one. Yep. So I'll just give you those ones. And I'm going to save this one for the next round. Okay. Cool. All done. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So we're now moving on to rounds. Sorry, Nick, that's your job. Oh, come on now. <laughs> so, um, Remove windmill tokens. Yeah. And round seven. So two district cards. Uh, two characters. Monica says it's hard to live life on the edge. Building. Yeah, you can tell us about that. <laughs> Stressful, this. So, Paul, you're still the start player? I am still the start player. Will you now be then. overtaken? I don't... I wouldn't have thought so. Yeah, it was that round where I was able to use the market to move two mm. and then buy one. Yeah. That's got really me a little bit ahead. Well, there's a nice, easy, hard demo bird there. Apologies for the pronunciation. My Dutch is not very good. Not what it used to be. Not what it used to be. <laughs> um, now, what have I got? This turn I've got black and only black. And I've already allocated four of it. And then I'm keeping one of them for that. So that's those three cards sorted. Um, oh, hello, Mr. Westerkirk. What colour are those? Um... I don't think we've done the market. We haven't done the market tile. No. So the new market tile, we're now into the bees. <sighs> the bees are, are very expensive. You can't quite see that. Just, uh, I can't believe my I'll eyes. Just move there. Five gold for 11 points and a cube. Yeah. Five gold, anybody got close? I, I don't think anybody's going get, <laughs> to get that one this turn. Um, that's interesting. Does it say? Discard. Actually, discard one of your active district maps. To gain three gold. Three gold, though. Well, here's the thing. If I took that and built it this round, I could discard my district map and I would have the five gold. Yeah. Could you build it this round, though? Uh, no. No. <laughs> Not even close. So I'm tempted to take that one because it's really simple and there's no worries about whether I can build it or not. But actually, this one I think is better. And I'm going to have those cubes in a couple of turns' time. So I'm taking the Westerkirk. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to take this You're taking one. the easy one. <sighs> yep. Um, I'll take the other oh, district one, please. Okay. Right. Dice. You again. Me. Okay, so we have a brown one, we have a black two, we have a grey three, we have a pink three, we have an orange four, and we have a purple six. Okay. I'm going to take... I'm going to take the purple six. Hmm. Just realised that's not going to work. Take the orange four. There's a slight flaw in my plan. <clears throat> I've not really been thinking about these. No. I haven't, no. I've not really been doing much down here. I bought one there, and I think I bought one. one I've, I've done one in orange, but yeah, that was just because it was there. Okay. Um, I'm going to take... a grey three... And one of the six is purple. Then, yeah, purple, lovely. This is the last round. You can take a six as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We haven't explained that part of the rules, but from round eight onwards, certain dice get changed into lower numbers because mm -hmm. there's no point in having a six in round eight because there aren't six more rounds. Yeah. Right, Gemma, I'm what would you like? The purple six. Orange four, please. Orange four. 
Cubes have been taken. Everybody rotate. Anybody got any penalties? Nope. Right. I have 11 black cubes. Wow. So I am going to activate that card for two. That card for two. And then I'm going to use that card. So there's five gone. That card gets me a gold. Mm -hmm. I'm then going to use that card, which gets me a gold. I can see where this is going. And a point. I wasn't thinking I was going to get the five, but I might just get the five. Because after using one or more district maps for Gracts and Gordel, which is that, I use that to get a gold. Excellent. I then spend my five gold to get, what is it? 11 points. 11 points in the cube. So from 28 to 39. And a cube. Oh, well in that case... I'll take an orange, which I will spend immediately to get a gold. Right. I've got six black cubes left. That's been used, that's been used, that's been used, and that's been used. So what am I going to do with these six black cubes? Probably buy something. Oh, I get bonuses for selling beer. So I'll sell, I'll use one black cube to buy some beer. And I'm still not at a dock, so it goes there. Okay. So that's my one purchase from here done. So I'm at the place that needs the beer, but my beer is still at the dock. Uh, I'm definitely saving one of those black cubes. Because I need it for the next round. So I've got four black cubes to spend. Uh, I will spend one to move up on the Amstel Canal for four points. Crikey. So I've done that. I've done that. The three things that I can only do once per turn I've done. So I've got these three to spend. And I think the only thing left to do is to move my barge. Because I can't do any other stuff down here. So three cubes to move my barge. Um, I'm tempted to go back home. Okay. Because I can pick up the beer and the cheese. So we'll turn around and we'll go choo choo. My 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 boat makes train noises. I'm done. Nick. Yes. You've got six black cubes. I do. Um oh, what am I gonna do? Yep, yeah, it's definitely a steamboat. <laughs> Well, is there anything I can buy cheaply for a black cube? Not one black cube. No. But there's some tiles, lovely tiles here yeah. for two. One, two, three. That's right, isn't it? Four. Where are you? I'm here. You're here. So one, two, three. Where are you trying to get to? Oh, I don't know. I'm just sorry. I'm just counting spaces. <laughs> what can I... What, what... Is there any cheap for purple... Um, no. Twos, 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 threes, and threes. Now, the purple one has gone. Some pesky yellow player stole it. Okay, what am I going to do? I'm going to. You've bought a thing every round, haven't you? Yeah. There's a six on the board. Yeah, I've done really well. I don't know if it's. Is that good or not? I can't decide. Well, it's, it, it'd be good if you get that one. Yeah, Because no. then you've got a contiguous line yeah, here. I, that's what I'm that's doing. That's that, yeah. is it? All right. So, Gemma, if you can buy that before Nick does, that'd be great. Thanks. you got great, Gemma. Yes, she does. <laughs> um, she might have her own plans. Sorry. I'm... What was my cheapest black? It was two, wasn't it? Cheapest black is two, and it's tiles, and it's here. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm going to... Which then leaves me with four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'll do that. I'll spend all six. I will buy that one for two, please. Those tiles. Just there, yeah. Thank you. Down here or no? Nope. Okay. 
I'll put there. This is unlimited space in the storehouse. You've got unlimited space in the storehouse. Okay. Yeah. Don't forget, you will need to go to a dock first yeah. to load them on. And then the, my remaining four, yeah. I'll go one, two, three, four. Are you going to that dock? Yeah. Right, okay. Where did you think I was going? I thought you might have gone to this one. Well, should I tell you? I'll tell, yeah, I'll tell yeah, you yeah. why for everyone at home, because I can go here yep. next... And then I can and pick up the grey one, and like the green one, the green worker, which I can then deliver to here yeah. for nine points. Yeah, I didn't know whether you were going to pick up the yellow one. Oh, to deliver the yellow one to there, then the green one to here. Yeah, there's not really. It's like tra it's, it's, it's a travelling salesman teams. problem, isn't it? There's no nice <laughs> way between all these spaces. Though. That's the only thing. Because yeah. actually, I could get to there with one, couldn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Except there's no point going there because you, your barge is currently empty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. You've got to go to the dock <laughs> first to load load the goods on. Yeah. Okay. Get ahead of myself. You're all done. Yeah. Not saving any cubes. Gemma, Gemma's you've got, got ten to spend. Four purple and six yeah. grey. So I'm going to. Um, can I just break up this one just to make it a bit easier? Mm -hmm. Um. Because I also have this black one. Oh, and I've the black one that you've saved, yeah. From previously. Okay. So first of all, I'll spend a. Purple, grey, and black to activate, activate that card. That. Yep. I got it. Thank you. That's that done. And that's whenever you deliver tulips. Tulips. You get an extra four points. Well, it's not going to happen, but. <laughs> no, but you've um, activated the card and got rid I'm of it. I'm then going to activate this one, which is two greys and a purple. And it's if I take possession of one block of buildings, advance one space on Amsterdam. Right, yep. Now. And that's an infinite one. Yep. As is the other one, so I'm not taking extra ones of these. Either. It's interesting because there is a card in the game which allows you to do this bit twice. Mm. So in that okay. case, you'd that actually get that twice. <clears throat> right. I was then going to, I had a plan, but now I'm... <laughs> yeah, I was going to spend two purple cubes to take this one. Yep. Um, and so I can advance the space on the canal. Yep. This one, because I'm still at the do dock. Yeah, I'm still at the dock, so it can be loaded straight onto your barge. Yep. Yeah. So Where's the was... wine going? There. Yep. Yep. Hopefully. The wine or beer? Uh, oh, I don't know. No, it's beer. No, it can't be. Well, they've got barrels of beer, haven't we? Doesn't look like a wine bottle, though. Let me look it up. It is... Uh, unfortunately not been translated well it, it, <laughs> it's Geneva so I don't know if that's a specific type of thing if anybody knows yeah, please tell uh, who's me. watching so there's beer tulip bulbs cheese furniture floor tiles lace coffee crystal glass and Geneva so it's either not been translated Geneva or it's actually a local spirit a, a, a specific type of spirit and they've deliberately kept the, the name so um, I was then going to activate this uh, Ulrich card. is saying starting peer allowance to load goods on your barge Yes. yes, yes, you can load goods when you're here. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, so I'm spending two grey cubes to activate this one, mm -hmm. um, which needs a, a thing, and then, then I'm going to activate it to get money. Spending one a grey cube money. to get some money, is it? One coin, yeah. Okay, have a coin. Thank you. Um, and that is all of my. Oh, it's Dutch schnapps. There you oh, go. lovely. So, so they've kept the actual. Yeah. You didn't bring up that schnapps from downstairs, did you? I didn't. No. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I don't think Archer's Peach Snaps is... is it's not very Dutch. It, it's not very Dutch. No. <laughs> I don't think so. All done? Yeah. Uh, yeah right. Done. End of the round. So we're going to move to round eight. Now, round eight, I'll show you. As you can see, it says sixes become one. So if we roll any sixes in round eight, in round eight, we, we immediately change them to a one. We're also going to a new market tile. Six money for 15 points. Yeah. You, you're gonna. I really, mean, I got to five. But you're gonna really annoy us in a minute. With all these well, well, if I can, if I can get to six, I would impress myself. <laughs> so remove the tokens yep. from any buildings or cards that were used. Yeah. We've moved the round marker on. Yeah. We're off. Cards. So it's an even numbered round, which means we get two of those, one of those, and two of those. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm about to get purple and brown. 
Which is that, that, and that. Oh. Oh no, all my black's gone. Uh, so. Oh, look at that. Look how good that is. What does it say? After gaining at least one golden, gain one golden. <laughs> In two points if you have no more than three inactive cards. That's quite nice as well. Um, I'm looking at what I like, gain one golden for each of three resources of your choice you spend. Oh, okay, so as many times as you want, you can just spend resources to get gold. I need my resources to do other things. Um, so, I think. I'm going to take this one. Cheap and cheerful. Oh. Thank um, you, next. What does this say? Spend oh, it's... It's, the, it's the good version of those district cards. It's more expensive, but it um, gets you a gold and a point. Purples and orange. Purples and grey. Greys and orange. Pink and... There's uh, three purple and a pink on that one. I'll take this one, even though I don't want to. I'll take the one on the right, even though this it's one? dangerous. This one? Palace Von yeah. Volt. <laughs> that is dangerous. These cards are going to put me in an early grade. <laughs> that's, that's so stressful. Right. Okay, dice time. Round eight. So all sixes become ones. There's a six. Becomes a one. So we have a one pink. And a one black. We have an orange four, we have a grey four, and we have a purple five and a brown five. Okay, so I'm gonna take orange four. I've rolled a black one again. Um And let's just have a look. Let's make sure I don't completely mess this up. Okay. I'm going to take brown five. Done. Nick. Um, I'm going to take an orange four and a brown five. Oh. Um, I'm going to take an orange four and a oh. pink one. I think Ulrich earlier on was telling me that I could have loaded Sorry. more goods. Sorry, orange four and a... Pink one. Pink one. Please, thank you. Yeah, I forgot to actually load my goods when I arrived at the thing. Uh, I think that's what Ulrich was trying to tell me. Okay. All done? Mm -hmm. Rotate, any penalties? Not just yet. <laughs> Not just yet, right. I've got those plus that one. Okay, so... Epic turn coming up. So epic. I'm probably going to have to move this to here to make more space. Because we are going to use the black and the purple to activate the tulip teller. Presumably the tulip seller. Um, I'm going to spend two brown and a purple so let me to activate the Versterkirk then one purple to activate the new market there you go happy with that right I'm then going to use the brewer to get a gold and a point probably should buy something here. Oh, and after gaining at least one point, I gain a point. I'm not going to get to the six gold. That's not going to happen. Or is it? No, it's not. <laughs> I was thinking I could get two gold for selling something at the black market, but it's still not going to work. Um... So I haven't got any orange, I can't buy anything there. I've got three purple, so I could buy something here. 
I've, I've not got any connections whatsoever here. I've done rubbish at this bit. Um, there's more beer up here, but it's three. Cheese, is there any cheese? There is, it's black. No, that's no good. Maybe I won't buy anything in the district. I'm not really doing this much. I mean, there is a really cheap black one here. But I don't have black. Hmm, okay. Let's use that. Spend a purple to gain a point. I uh, can't spend an orange for that. There's no dock workers in the magazine, so I can't use that. I haven't got a black to do that. Okay, so maybe I will. Maybe I will buy something and I'll sell it to the black market. Um, so what can I buy for two brown? These. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to spend two brown. I'm going to buy some silk. I'm then going to ditch the silk into the black market to get a black cube. I then use the black cube immediately on here to get a gold. And then because I've used one of those districts, I use that to get a gold. Right. I think I've used as many of these as I could. I've got two cubes left. So I'm going to use one of them to move up here. And I'm going to save that one. There you go. Done. Wow. What a big turn. That was a big turn. As I say, turns from when you get to turn six or seven, they start to get big. Mm. And things start comboing together. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend two purples here to activate this card and move it upwards. Um... Then I'm going to go one, two, three. So three cubes to move your yeah. boat. So your barge first moves to here. Yeah. You can now load any amount of stuff onto your barge and you can pick up one of the dock workers. So I'll take the, that's green. Yep. So you pick up the green one. That yep. goes on your barge and you get one gold for doing that. Do I? Yep, yeah, they pay you a gold. Oh, for picking up. up a worker? Picking up a dock okay, worker. Okay, I understand. And then I will then go One, two, three. Two. So you drop the green dock worker off. And who goes? Here. Oh, okay. And you get nine points. Yeah. No bonus because we're now into round eight. One, two, three. Did you want to pick up one of the other two yes, dock workers? Yes, I do. Where's... Well, yellow's there. Isn't yellow's it? right there, yeah. <laughs> so you get another gold. Do I? <laughs> okay. Here you go. Um, so that was the three cubes that you spent. Yeah. And then... Are there any more tulips on the board cheap anywhere? Two purple. Two... Oh. <laughs> Don't forget your cards if you wanted to use any of your cards. Yeah. Um, I will. I should have I should have saved that for next turn. Do you want to do it? Can, can I can I go we back? Can, we can undo okay. it. Just take a purple cube back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Leave yourself there. Yeah. And then we won't do anything. Take, take one gold back. Put the yellow worker back. Uh, take the green one back, go back and we'll lose the nine points. I'm sorry. That's fine. Then, there you go. That's all undone. And then I'll spend these two. Yeah. And I will then buy that one. That. Please. Yeah. Thank you. Which then goes back into my storehouse because I'm not on a crane. Because you're not on a crane. But you could have actually done that while you were here. Right. And then loaded it. 
Well, I'm going to be going there anyway. Not oh, you're going to be going there. Yeah, 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 true. Yeah, but that's it. You can you can do all of this in whatever order you want to. Yeah. Okay. Well, can I just put it on then? Yeah. Stick yeah. it on. Yeah. We'll just say that you bought that as the first thing, yeah. loaded it on before you then. Okay. Thank you. Then left. Right. Yeah. Uh, Gemma, you've got six purple, one pink, mm. and five brown. Wow. How many is that altogether? Twelve. And um, can you break? These uh, Ulrich ones says no early bonus for delivering dot workers anyway. Oh, I thought there was. I thought I'd read that there was. <coughs> Five. Five. Yeah, we'll have a chat about that later. I believe him because he's the developer of the game. But yeah, the rules say if you manage to deliver commodities to the storehouses and magazines, and it mentions the magazine, that's why I thought it affected the dock workers. But according to Ulrich, it's only for delivering commodities. You don't get the round bonus for delivering dock workers. Well, we haven't delivered any yet, though. Have we, we haven't, so, no. no. And when we were about to, it's already round eight. So. Yeah, okay. Thank you much for that. Um, so I'm going to spend three purples and a pink to... Uh, activate that, yep. that card. Two browns to activate that card. Nice. Um, I'm going to get two points, because I have... Gain two points if you have no more than three inactive. Yep, so two points. <clears throat> so many choices. Yeah. Um. Spend one brown cube to buy this cheese here. Cheap cheese. And I'm gonna put that onto my because you're ship still here, yeah. Still there. I'm gonna spend four cubes to move. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna sell dropping off the Yenever. Two snaps. Yep. Yeah. So it's so eight points. There you go. Did you get any bonuses for delivering uh, that stuff? Unfortunately not. Okay. No. Um and then my last brown cube. That, yeah, I was you got going that, to gold get... or a point. At uh, one point. A point or a gold? A point. Thinking gold is, gold is normally worth more than a point. No, I, I think okay. I want the you point. Okay, you want the point. Yeah. There you go. So that is all, all done. Yeah. Right, end of the round. Windmill tokens get removed. And we move on to round eight. Nine. Sorry, round nine. We get a new market tile. This is spend three money for five points and a cube. And what else? I think that's it. Okay, off we go then. Round nine. Two district cards. Two characters. Oh my goodness. It's the hard one. It's four different colours. Um, right, think, oh, that could be very nice if you had lots of different craftsmen, they're the green cards. Right. Yeah, that's, that's very good, two points for each different one, wow. Gain twice the points for delivering dock workers. Yeah, but <laughs> crazy expensive. Um, I think I'm going to take this. Yeah. Is that every round, that one, going forward? Yeah.
Yeah, seems seems quite oh, cheap. Oh, at the end game. Oh, sorry. It's I'm end sorry. Game. I thought oh, I was okay. cut around. Yeah. I was going to so say. We, we've seen our first card with the laurel on, so this is end game scoring. Yeah, thank you. I thought, wait a minute, that's that's crazy powerful. Yeah. But it is an end game scoring card. So, so what does it do, sir? Uh, so at the end of the game, you get two points for each different type of craftsman, mm. which is the green cards. I think I will actually take it. Okay. <laughs> but it's not what I thought it was. Um, I'm just going to take the first one, um, the Jordan. The Jordan, um, yep. Right. Okay, dice time. So this round, every six and five Every five and six one. becomes a one. So there's one. There's a one. There's a one. There's a one. Three and a four. So the cubes will start to slow down now. Goodness, what choice? Um, well, I think we'll have three purple. And I think we'll have four orange. Done. That's late. I say slowing down. We're still going to have some fairly major, major turns here. Nick, what would you like? Um, I would like three purples. Four orange. And Gemma? I guess possibly something similar. Going through your head, what are you thinking? Mm. I'll take four oranges, please. Yeah. You got uh, and three purples. You're running out of orange little cubes. I have enough. Has anybody got? got oh, because because I've got groups of four, 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 four. We've run out of orange cubes. Right, so we've got these markers, which are supposed to be for times five. Mm. But if we make these... If we make that a temporary orange cube. If, if we make this a temporary orange cube... Mm -hmm. Actually, you surely need two. There's two of them. Okay, there you go. So that that's a temporary orange cube. So there you go in there. Yeah. And then the three purples as well, please, Nick. It? Yeah, it's just because we've got four, four, and four. Mm. Which we don't forget what colour they are. <laughs> So orange. they are orange cubes. Right, are we all done? Yeah, while you're taking your turn pool, do you mind yep. if I just take these out and start allocating because I need to work, I need to count. Is that okay? Do you mind? How do you mean? I'm just oh, yeah, 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 just plan your turn. My, my turn's not actually going to be that long, I don't think, because all I've got is five grey cubes. Um, but let's let's see what I can do with these five grey cubes. Because um, I've not really done much down here, but I actually do have a little bit of a... Oh, and I've got the purple one as well got this contiguous section here. Unfortunately, the Geneva or Yeneva has already been sold to the black market. So hmm. That combos with that. Well first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gain a point and a gold. That's that's the easy bit. What's the thing this turn? Oh I'll do that. So three gold for five points and the cube. The cube will be black <coughs> and I will use that black cube on there to get a gold. And then because I've used a Gracton Gorgle, I get a gold. Right, so that's those done. I've still got this left. Um, Where's my boat? My boat is here. So I am going to do it. I am going to spend three grey to buy this, which mm, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. 
I don't, I have to put it here. So I might as well load it onto there. And then I've got three cubes left. So let's spend one of those cubes to move up here. And still got two cubes left. I'm definitely going to drop the beer off. That looks quite nice for a random something. And then the cheese can come around here. Who else has got cheese? You've got cheese. You're probably going to get to the cheese delivery before me. Um, I've bought in here. I've done the market. I've done the canal. So yeah, I'm going to spend... Is there any cheese left? There is. I'm going to spend these two to go one, two. I, I'm just going back and forth along this bit. Too scared to leave anywhere else. <laughs> um... Did I spend a purple then? I did. Let's put myself back one space. I'm going to use that instead. And that. Oh no, I've already used that. Apparently I've used that. I can't remember using that, but apparently I've used it. And there's still no work, dot workers in the magazine, so I'm still getting nothing for that. Right, that's me done. Oof. Yes. Okay. Have you allocated your cubes and planned I think so this okay. is my redeeming turn okay not concentrating on the cards enough all round so I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to do that on this turn but I'm going to do all these so you're activating those three cards yeah so that's three greys so after moving your barge at these two spaces gain a point which is quite good if several discs are on the same space in the canal yours is always on top which is nice and then spend one black resource and get one gold and one okay. point so, like I say, just writing... So that's those cubes spent. Yeah, just writing some earlier wrongs. And you've still got four grey and a black to spend. Yes. Any cheap tulips you can see? What did uh, we say they were? There are no tulips left on the board. Not a single one? Nope. No tulips left. Where are they all gone? One's in the black market. Yeah. Uh, and, got... and you've got them all on your barge. <laughs> oh, I've got three. I thought got I had three. two. I got sorry. three. I'm losing my marbles. Um, and your tulips. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. Are you going to do the thing here that we almost did earlier? The thing that you think I'm going to do? Maybe. Maybe I am. Maybe not. Maybe I am. I think You I am. also need to buy this. Yeah, I know. You've got to do it before somebody what? else does. I mean, I could have done, to be honest. <laughs> but I didn't. I bought that one to complete... My group of three. I don't really have any use for it, though. That's the problem. It gets you 12 points. Does it? At the end of the game. Oh. Three points for each of Go your on. shields in a contiguous line. Go on, then. So. You've, um, what is it? You've twisted my arm? Is that the phrase? I've persuaded you. Yeah, there you go. Go on, then. If you would, please. Thank you. There you go. <coughs> so, yeah. So, at the end of the game, because Nick mm. now has a contiguous line of four, that's worth 12 points. And you only get it for your longest chain. So, if you had another chain over here... Mm. That's, that's currently the longest one. Uh, I've got longest chain of three. Gemma, your longest chain at the moment is these two. Okay, right. right. I've still got a few more, sorry. Yeah? Yeah, and I'm going to go one, okay. two, three. So three cubes. So I go here initially. Drop off. I drop off. Yeah, we'll do it. Don't right work it to here for nine points. Yeah, so what's nine from there? It's... One, two, three, six. four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it? Yeah, there? 36. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I do that. I'm going to pick, pick up, up another, another one. worker, which I said last time would be... Yeah, yeah which Not gets you a gold. One. What? Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah, can I have that gold, please? I've got it here, actually. Yep, yeah, gold. Then I had two more. Yeah. So I'm one, two. And you drop off all three tulips. All three tulips. So that's 18 points. Unless you've got any bonuses for delivering tulips. No, Gemma took that one. So that's 36, 56, 54? 53. 53. 18 points from, 50, from 36? No, sorry, yeah, 54. Yeah. Nice. Okay. There you go. That was a big turn. Yeah, I didn't the see myself seven points. <laughs> catching up with you. Yeah, I know, goodness. It's different because I'm spending lots of little cubes and getting lots of little points, and you're doing. Oh, also, big I'm sorry, stuff. but because I moved my barge at least two spaces, I get. Oh, point. 55. 
So I do need to. Not that I really think it. Yeah. Yeah, you're not using your district cards that much, are you? Because you're doing other stuff. I'm concentrating on getting rid of them. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, you're all done. Yeah. Gemma, you've got, so five, got five grey. Five grey points. So one, two. Pick up him. Three, four. Sell my cheese for seven. Okay. Two, five. Does anybody know what type of cheese is famous in Amsterdam? That's not a joke, it's an actual question. Do we so, tell you? Do you know? Yeah, okay. so it's Edam and Gouda are the two most okay. favourite, are they not? Right. Demo? I don't know, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's right, yeah, someone can tell us that we're right. Edam and Gouda. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, and then I've got one more space, so I'm going to move back out here for my five. Okay, well done. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, you could have moved here and you'd have been ahead of Nick in turn order, but, but you wouldn't because he's got a special card mm. that means he's on top of um, any I'm stack. I'm going to activate this one to gain two points. Two points. Um, All done? Yep. Right. Alrighty, so we so remove the mark. used markers. Round marker goes on. Round marker goes on. Round, round market 10, tile. new market tile. Six money for fourteen. Six money for fourteen points. Totally doing that this turn. I got four. Okay. Okay. So cards. Cards. Round ten. So even numbered round, which means we get two of those. One of those. Two of those. And it's still me first. So I am going to choose. Based on the cubes that I've got and what I think I'm going to be able to do. Oh, hello. There, Mrs. Tegel Schilder. Purple, brown, and pink in the same segment. Oh, I should be able to do that. And that is quite nice. Because I got none of those, got none of those. That actually could be quite good as well, because I've got lots of orange cubes and nothing to do with them. Hmm. I think I'm going to take it. I'm going to take that one. See what happens. Okay. I just, my problem is I keep just taking the cheap ones to get rid of them and not really focusing on what I should be doing. Well. The chances are there's going to be a black one this turn. There's a four in six chance that there will be a black one this turn. Mm. Okay, I'll go for the one on the right hand okay. side. Alrighty. So, dice. Dice. It's me again. I predict lots of ones. Well, fortunately I rolled a black three, but a purple two, and everything else was actually a one. Wow. Didn't need to change any dice. Okay, so I'm taking... Black three and purple two. Done. Hmm. Where's the white oh, dog? There. Right, okay. Okay, so... Do I need an orange for anything? Yeah, okay, I'll take an orange one, which we don't have, 
Can I have one of those five times mark no, that's right. instead? So that, that's an orange one. Okay. Uh, and I will then take a... I'll go for a purple two. Mm-hmm. Gemma? Um, I would like um, a brown one and a grey one, please. Right. Everybody taking the cubes. Everybody rotate. Ooh, I got a big round this time. No penalties. No. I got seventeen cubes. Here. Okay. Wow. Quite a lot. Okay. Well, if you want to start planning it again. <laughs> um, yeah, I might if you don't mind. Let's have a look what I'm going to do. I've Can got. I break up my pink into five small ones. Please? All sorts of things that I was thinking of doing. I can't do any of these. So I can ignore these cards. I think I'd like to do some sailing around, but I'm also looking to expand my empire on here. But that's either three black, or three brown, or three grey. Oh, beer! Oh, why did I leave? I might have to go back again. <laughs> oh, you're joking! No! Oh, I've got to do it. So I spend three grey to buy this beer. Because that's expanded that contiguous line. So that's quite nice. Um, I will use that to gain a gold and a point. And then because I've gained a point... Oh, wait a minute. Surely I didn't take that off from last turn. No, I didn't. Gain another point. Because that's the first time I've gained points. Right. Next, I'm going to spend... Let's use the market. For, oh no, I haven't quite got the market yet. Uh, let's spend an orange cube to get a golden, which is six. I then spend six golden with the market to get 14 points. Right. So I've used that, I've used that, I've used that. I've not used that, I've not used that. Okay, so... Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to spend a cube to go back. <laughs> Come back. Pick up some more beer. Then I'm going to spend one, two, three cubes to travel to there. Right, I'm going to drop off the two beer, each of which is worth four extra points. Seven, eleven. No. Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen points. Yeah. Right, then I'm going to spend another two cubes to go here, where I'm going to drop off the uh, Geneva for five points. Oh, you saw it. I was going to go there. Then I'm going to spend another two cubes. To go here to pick up this dock worker and the gold. Then I've got two cubes left. I'm going to stay there just in case we buy something else. Uh, I'm going to keep the pink and I'm going to spend the orange to move up on the canal, which gets me six points. Done. It's quite exhausting taking turns. Pretty busy time that, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. If we talk about um, games that evolve, you know, you don't do the same thing every round. In round one, we were spending one or two cubes. Mm. Now we're spending... This is where the game is, the last last few rounds. Okay. Nick? Yes. 17 cubes. Yeah, I might have to move my rondo. I'm just going to yeah. go there a little bit. So I'm going to instantly... Or pop it, pop it down there where your health cards are. Oh, right, there's, okay. there's space for it. Is there? Okay. Okay, so I'm instantly going to put these yeah. two up here. Activate. Your activate, and that one's there for a reason. So <laughs> I'm going to activate those two like that. So that orange goes, you've got them over there, haven't you? That's, that's an orange. You, yeah. Well, then, in fact, we've got some orange left now. So oh, okay. Well. If, Gemma, you want to swap your two grey markers for those two orange things, we are, we are fixed. So 
Then I'm going to do that one on there. And oh, sorry, I thought that was. I thought that was getting money. Well, I'll do that, and I'll take money anyway for pink. Okay. Pop a windmill token on that. Um, Is that done? Then what else did I then want to do? Um, Sorry, there was one other thing I forgot to do. Yeah. I forgot to use that for a point. Okay. It's one point for every dock worker in the magazine. I was I was trying to deliver a second one okay. before using it, but didn't get there. Okay, so then I'm going to go... Where did the tiles get delivered? All the way over there. Tiles here, yeah. It's interesting. We've kind of all gone that way. <laughs> this area, just from the way things have come out. Not actually that far. It's only four spaces. Is it? Yeah. Here you go. Watch this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna change my plan, and I'm gonna but spend two pink for that one there. Yep. Which goes here. It goes there for now. And you want to put an ownership yeah, so marker here. Yes, ownership marker there, like that. I've got a lot of I've got a lot of things here, haven't I? And then, what colour is that? Purple. That's purple. Yeah. But remember, you can only do this once. Oh, of course, yeah. Once yeah. per turn. So if I went one, two for seven points, then three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? That's right, isn't it? Two over there. Well, let's do it a bit at a time. So two yeah. cubes to go. Here. Although, I'm not, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to think ahead here. I'm oh, sorry. right. I'm okay. not saying that's necessarily yep. what I want to that do. would get you seven points for dropping off. Uh, hang on. Go where, did you say? All the way over to here. No, first. Oh, sorry. So it'd be one, two. No. You've got a yellow dot worker. Yellow dot worker wants to go there. So it's, it's, it's one, two. It's even, cheap. it's even easier for you. Oh, okay. That's better. So, yeah. One, two. Drop off the yellow dot worker. And then another one, two, three, four. Where's the white dock worker go? White dock worker goes here. I'm going there anyway, aren't I? Or is that a separate space? Separate space, yeah. Hmm. But you don't have a white one. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> you could divert. I really could. Um... So sorry, how many would that cost me? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm thinking out loud. So it cost me one, two. No, sorry, it wasn't, it was it? It was one, one two, two. Drop off the yellow three. three. Is that in there? That's no, that space, isn't that's it? That space. Three. Four. No. Oh, four. Oh. Five, six. So that cost me six. To six move cubes all in total yeah. to drop off the that. yellow dot worker and deliver the tiles. And drop that worker into there. You can't no. drop a worker there. That's in the middle of the sea. He's pink. One. That one's that one's white. That's white. Yeah, that's white. That's pink. Uh, oh, where's white? What? So the pink that's one pink. wants to go there. Oh, and then the white one wants to go there. Oh right. So you, you've got all the cubes. You probably could do a ridiculous amount of dock working. I could do. And a then huge. that would give you the six gold to buy fourteen points at the market. <laughs> Where would I get the extra gold from? Sorry. You get a gold for picking him up. A gold yeah. for picking him up. All oh, right. I don't know. Would you get to get another gold from somewhere else? Maybe I've already done an action here. That's what I was thinking about doing. Yeah. Could I not? Well, you could then pick up another. But one. I'll pick one up. You anyway. pick another one there. So there's three gold. Yeah. So you pick up that one for a gold, that one for a gold, and that one for a gold. And I could put that blue worker in here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's do this. Let's do this incrementally because so, my brain's starting to hurt. Two cubes. So first. one, two. Yeah. Let's let's just zoom in on that part of the board just so we can see. Can I just keep colour a little bit irrelevant? For yeah, now, yeah, yeah. Just so two cubes to go there. Yeah. You drop off the yellow dock worker for seven points. Could you please? So seven points. And yeah. then you pick up the pink dock worker. Yeah. And you get a gold. So I get a gold, and I pick up that's pink. Right. To remove your stuff over onto your. And yes. now you can load all of the rest of your stuff please. onto your barge because you're at a, a dock. So I'm going to go one there. Yeah. Hang on. Ah. Yeah. Oh, do I want to go there? Yeah. Have I got enough stuff? Drop off the pink, get the white. So, but... Well, let's right. work it out. It's one, two, three. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. 
Is it so worth it? For it's probably worth it. Just do well. all, yeah, do all yeah. the dock worker stuff. Yeah. Okay, so it'd be one, two, three. three. So three more cubes. So you drop off the pink dock worker. That's pink. Yep, yeah. getting five points. Pick yeah. up the white one, getting yeah. another gold. Okay. Nick's taxi service. Yeah, I know. And then. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Does that. Drop off the white dock worker, getting three points. Pick up the blue one, or the brown one. Is there any point dropping him off, though? It's always three points. Oh, okay. That gets you another gold. Yeah. Right. Now. You've got two cubes left. I've got two cubes left. But you've also now got six gold. Yeah, I know. I think what I'm going to do then. So I, because I've moved forward on... Uh, have, you, have you moved at least two spaces? I don't know. <laughs> Can we watch it back? So I'm going to do that. And then I'll take one point, please. Point, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to spend one to move up the canal. Yeah. One more, which also gets me another point, please. Yeah. And also I will put that one on that car there. I've got one left. You can save it. And I'm going to save it. Because you never know what. Are you spending the six gold for 14 points? Yes. One, two, One, two three. Think 14. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Six. That was quite a big turn. That I didn't was, see that yeah. coming, really. But it is interesting that. You were able to you were able to pick up and deliver three dock workers all on the same turn. Mm. But that got you the gold to use the market. Yeah. So. Because there's no rush at selling your tiles. No, that's true, because we've got a customer. We've got yeah. two more tiles. I will say that going big on the big number dice early on is really it paid pays dividends off. at the end. If you want to take one like three and one six, I reckon. Yeah. Right, Gemma. I think is Gemma gonna have another big turn? Um <clears throat> so first of all I'm gonna spend three to activate that card. Yep. Yeah. And then going to spend one to get a money and money a point. Money and a point. And spend one to get a money. Money. You can try and get the six. So I spend one to get a money. Yep. Yeah. Then I was going to. So they're all spent. You've got. You've got five pink spend, left. Yeah. So I was going to spend two pink to take this furniture, one, and he can go down there. Yeah, to get the furniture two hasn't money. been sold to the black market yet. That gets you the two money. So uh, with your four, is fourteen points at the market. Yeah. So two, four, five. Yep. Four, ten. Seven. Right. Uh, okay. Then three I've pink got left. Three pink left. I'm keeping one for next round. Mm -hmm. And then... It's all looking a bit bare over here now, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm annoyed that it's my two, so okay. I can deliver him for three, but I wanted seven points. <laughs> one, two, three, that's 50 points. And I will activate this one for two points. Yep. I think, unfortunately, that's all I can do. Okay. Yeah, so Nick delivering all of those. Yeah. yeah. Scuffered me. Also, I've just realised I didn't give that advice because it benefits me, but it does massively benefit me. I thought that would be a cool thing to do, to mm. pick up all of the things and drop them off, but actually, he was mm. probably going to do it anyway. I get points for dot workers in the magazine. Mm. Right. Cynical people watching will think I uh, I advised Nick for what? selfish reasons. What's happened? I, I get points for dock workers in the I magazine. I knew that. I, I I'd knew. forgotten that when I was giving you the advice. Yeah, well, I, I knew it when I was doing it. It wasn't much advice. Worry. It was more, oh, there's this cool thing that you can, you can do. do that. You can do this. Save this for next round. Yeah. Right. We're all done. End of round. Mm -hmm. So remove these markers. We move on to round 11. And... We need a new market tile. So, round 11. Four money for six points. 
one space up on the track. Poor Gemma's, I've got to roll the dice, yeah. Have you, Gemma? <laughs> you can roll the dice in the last round. <laughs> so, round 11 is an odd numbered round, which means we need two of those and one of those. Right, what am I going to take? At this point, it needs to be something that. Um... Oh, that's nice. But it just needs to be something that I can actually play. Um, yeah, because that's not going to happen. Has any of us got any grey? No. No. So the only way that can happen is you take a grey now, keep it, and take two grey. Oh, nobody will take it. Yeah, nobody's forced to take it. Um, I'm just going to take this one because it's, it's easy. I'm going to take this one because even though I won't be able to afford to do the market twice, I will get me two points. Because it's a different type of craftsman. Yep. Well, thanks very much. Well, they're actually different active craftsmen. Are they the same or is it different cards? It's, it's, it's the same name. Oh, I thought it'd be perfect. No, they, they are. What did you say, Gemma? Sorry. I said thanks very much, Nick. Oh, I'm sorry. You knew that that was the only card I could I didn't do. know that. It's the only one I can do as well. I haven't got any greys coming up. I haven't got any pinks. So I couldn't do any other cards. Out of these two, I think that one's slightly easier to do. Okay, I'll take that one. I think so. More of Paul's dodgy advice. <laughs> that benefits himself. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, dice. So, five to th six to three become one. Everything other than a two mm. is a one. one. Yeah. We have a black two. Does that benefit you, John? And everything else is a one. Okay. So, um, well black one would have been nice actually that's all right oh no hang on a minute i've got all of these <laughs> i've got all these cards that one's gonna be fine that one's gonna be fine that one's gonna be fine what do i need pink oh i've got the pink um let's take let's take two black and let's take one, um, I don't know, let's take a brown, okay. Um, not a choice really is there, I'll take two blacks. And one orange. I think. Okay, Gemma. I'll take two blacks and a grey, please. Two blacks and a grey. Right, everybody rotate. No penalties. Okay, right. So, let's work out what we're going to do. The market is four gold for six points. I definitely want to try and do that. First of all, one gold and two points. That's the easy bit. Do we take a card in the last round as well? We do, yeah. Um, okay, can I buy a commodity that's going to increase my presence? Somewhere. No. Can I buy a commodity that is needed in the black market? Yes, I can. But actually, um, 
Hmm. Put that on there so I can see it easier. I'm going to spend an orange to gain a gold. Okay. Am I going to buy anything else? I think I should. I'm going to spend two purple to buy this crystal glass, which I'm actually going to load straight onto my barge because I'm here. And that gets me that. I am then going to move one, two, three using three random cubes. I may change in a minute to land there to deliver the cheese. Gets me six points. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. The game does come with a hundred point markers, but we'll just remember. Um, I then want to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Using those four cubes to deliver this white dock worker to here for three points. And I'm going to use this building or well, this tulip seller to gain six points. That's crazy powerful now. Um, I got a cube left. These have all been spent. I'll use the cube on that to get a point. I'll tell you what I've just forgotten to do. Activate buildings. Activate cards. That's all right. I think I've got just enough for next round. <laughs> It says, yeah, I think I'm okay. Done. Okay. Except, except for the extra card that I'm going to have to pick up next round, which is, yeah. I'm sure you pick up a card in the last round of the game. Oh, okay. Um, okay, I'm going to spend one pink mm -hmm. for one money, please. Just realised I didn't do that. Have you got the money? Oh. No, I didn't have the money. Oh, I've just taken that, sorry. I, I took it. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to spend one purple resource for another money. Then I'm going to spend another purple. What's that giving me? Six points and one up. It's not very good. Yeah, it's effectively eight points. Yeah. Okay, so I'll spend another purple. And I'll take a money and a point, please. Four, if you will. One point? Yeah. Um, then I'll move... The, I'll activate this card here. Mm -hmm. Four these three here, like that. Um, I will spend, oh, I've done that wrong. Sorry, can I change, actually I don't want to do this. Sorry, so I'll take that one there back, take back a purple Go cube, cube and, lose a gold. and lose a gold. Yeah. So I'll spend these three here and I will put an ownership marker here, like that. Yep, with the coffee, mm -hmm. which, which will go can straight, load straight onto your barge because you're currently at the dock. Yep. Um, I've got a blue. Okay. So I will go one, two, two to here. So it's two orange, and I'll deliver this one here. Deliver the coffee for six mm. points, yep, please. Um, I've moved at least. Two, so I get an extra yeah, point. Extra point. So and that activated. Yeah, which is done. No, middle that's middle top, top middle. Yeah, and then I've got one orange. Oh, in left. fact, moving. Oh, you. So you're not doing the market. Well, I haven't. Yeah, so moving up there, you get that extra point for it as well. What well, say what? Sorry. You get a point whenever you advance on the canal, don't you? Yes. 
Um, is there anything that glasses or tiles for one <laughs> orange cube? That's probably very uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is definitely not. Okay, I will spend this one orange then to move up yeah, that one. So it's two points for the bridge yeah. plus one point for your car. So, so then. one, two, three. I don't think I'm going to catch you, Paul, I'm afraid. Yeah, that, that car's really good for me now. Mm. Right, don't all done. Well, <laughs> yep. Thank you. Gemma? Um, so I'm going to use my pink and two purples to activate this card. Not that it gets me anything, but... Well, can you get a gold at all this turn? No. I mean, every single thing I want to do, Nick just does in front. And <gasps> oh. Absolutely no point. Oh, no. Somebody sleeping in the spare room. I only have a horrible journey back in the car. But I'm not even looking at your board, though. I'm just doing... Mm, sorry. <laughs> Because I was going to buy that to sell for six, but I don't see the point for selling it for four. Where's your... It's still, still four. It. Four points is four. four points. It also gets you another three points because it's expanding your longest chain here. Where's the longest chain here? It's your own individual longest your chain. Your own individual I'm longest chain. So yours is four. Two points for activating this one. Two points, yep. And remind me these things at the bottom. Who's got the most ownership markers in Correct. there? Correct. So where's orange? Who's doing the best in them? So in orange, yeah. Uh, Gem is winning that one. Okay. Uh, with me and you tied for second. Okay. In purple, um, that's here. So there's one. You've got, you've got three. Me and Gemma have got one. Okay. And it's four points per in your longest chain. Three points. Three points per. Do we still get resources in the last round from the dice? Yeah, so just, just basically it's all one ones. Yeah, you just get any two cubes. There's no I'll point rolling because everything three. becomes a one. To buy that one and we can go straight in. Straight in because you're at the dock. Yep. Which then secures you that round, that bottom bit. Yeah, as well. you've definitely got that. I'm going to spend one of these to get one money and one point. One point. And I'm going to spend money to get two points. To get two points, yep. Oh, did you do that? No, I didn't. There you go. So I think actually I've done it multiple times and never actually moved it up. Really? Yeah, because look how many I have down. Mm, I'm not sure when you got it out. We'd have to watch the video back. One purple cube left. One purple cube. So I'm saving my grey cube. Mm -hmm. yeah, you could move on here again. No, that's no point. Um... I'll just start moving him out yep. there. Okay. So, we're all done. You're saving your grey cube. Yeah. That's it. Tidy you up. Ready for the last so round. Stuff on there. So, round 12. Final market tile comes out. Which is four gold for four points. And two and spaces. Two spaces? Yep. Two spaces up the track. Do you move us to round 12? Yes, I do. So, even numbered round... <clears throat> one of those and two of those right so me first and I'm basically taking something really pink, I? that I can afford to build oh well I didn't know that card was in the game what is it if your barge has returned to the starting pier gain eight points oh eight okay yeah um Yeah, so I think I'm just going to take that. I mean, that's my fifth card. I better get busy with my cards this turn. Nick, pick a card. Oh, you check them. You have to take a card. What? Orange, brown, and 
Yeah, you can do it. What, was, what does it say? You can buy two districts a turn. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> it says pink, brown and purple. What is it? We need another coffee. It's too late for that as well. I'm sorry, I can't see this very well. Two purple, two black. If your barge... Oh. If your barge is back to the start, get eight points. I'll say this one then. Okay, Gemma, which one do you want? Not yet, I do any of them. You can do that one. Uh, oh, no, no, you need two blacks for that. Those, so, um, Unless there's a way you can get an extra resource. I'm just going to have to take a card on and yeah. penalty, aren't I? Just take the first one. Right, so we don't need to bother rolling the dice. Everything's a one. Oh, and I have messed this up. I want a pink and a grey, I know what I want. <laughs> yeah, I've messed this up. I'm going to get a penalty as well. So, I'm taking a pink. I thought I'd saved a pink. No. Oh dear. Right. Pink and a... <clears throat> oh no, I can do it. Uh, I can do it. But you're going to get rid of all five yeah. cards? Totally. Take a pink and a black. Goodness gracious me. What? Do, okay, what do I want? I want a black and... No, not black. Purple. Yeah, I think I can do it. Just. But only just. Why are we going to end up with 13 cards if it was 12 rounds? Because you start with one. Okay. Start with one card. I'll just take a... What's, um, is, what's the cheapest one on the board? The black one that I'm about to buy. Is it? Yeah. I'll take a purple one in that case. <laughs> if you're going to be like that about it. Yeah, right. So we turn the wheel. We get all of these. And here we go for the final round of the game. So the black one's still there? The black one is still there. And it's not, and available in the black market as well. Yeah, because that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell it to the black market. Change my um, Because I need the pink. So I'm going to take a, a pink cube. Right, I'm then going to use the pink cube to activate that. I'm going to use the pink, one of the browns. So I've got four browns left. and a purple to activate that. I then spend two purple to activate that. Two more purple to activate that. And then three brown and an orange to activate that. Right, done. All 13 cards activated. So, what have I got? I've got some crystal glass on my boat and I am at a dock. And delivering that crystal glass is six points. Where are you? Here. Oh, okay. So that's not too bad. That's one, two. It's four cubes for six points. Is that a good use? Uh, I'm not sure. What's the market? Oh, the market's pretty good. So I'll use this and this to get two points and a gold. I then spend four gold to get four points. One, two, three, four, and two moves up on the track. That's three cubes for eight points, so I've got to do it. Um, in fact, gold, go, leftover resources are worth half a point each at the end of the game. So getting gold at this point, for me, is effectively worth half a point. So I would spend one black cube to get one point. Right. So I'm going to spend a purple here to get a point. I'm going to activate that building to get one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and spend an... Oh, I've activated a thing in Newmarket, haven't I? Yeah, so I get a gold for that. Oh, 
when you move your bars, you may move it two spaces for every resource spent. I forgot about that. So I spent two cubes to go one, two, three, four. Drop off the crystal glass for six points. Right. Can you keep cubes? You can. So you can keep cubes and any every two cubes you've got left at the end. So presumably you don't discard them at the last Every round. two cubes is one point. It says here, yeah. But I'll just I'll just double check that. It might be that it's only the one that you can keep. I'll double check. Unless Ulrich's still in the chat. Um so I'll use, I need some more windmills. I'll use that, spending a purple to get a gold. I'll use that, spending a black to get a gold. I'll use that to get a gold. Oh, it's, it's exhausting watching you. I forgot about this. <laughs> Two gold, take possession of a block of buildings without spending resources. What was that say again? Oh. Two gold mm. to take possession of a block of buildings without spending the resources. Completely forgot I had that. So I'll spend two gold mm -hmm. to take possession of this block here. I'm not at a dock. So I can't put it on my thing. You were at a dock. I yeah. was at a dock though, wasn't I? So. Yeah, because I started here, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Do that in a slightly different order. Four points. Um, I will bring out windmills. Another windmill for an orange to get another gold. Okay, so I'm going to save a cube, and I'm going to spend these three to move two spaces up the wall, getting me eight points. Done. How do you get eight then, sorry? No, oh, I see. moved over there. Okay. Okay, uh, so Ulrich has confirmed you can only keep one cube to the end of the game. Oh, but I was going to, because then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy that one and that one. So then I've got a really... Would that be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? It would, yeah. Can you buy two markets? Oh, yeah. I've got loads of cubes. But can you buy... No, you oh, I can, because I've got this card. Okay. See how we go. I'm sorry, Gemma, my love. Can't you just buy that one instead? I've got two pinks. Do you want to swap me? <laughs> <laughs> Can you buy that one? Trading cubes. No, I can't buy that one. Oh, Gemma. You, you're doing this on purpose. <gasps> I don't think he is. He's, I just, he's doing not. the best thing for him. It just it happens that it it's not good for you. Okay. Anyway, either way, I'm going to buy... You're activating that card. That one and that one. Right. So that's all your cards activated. Oh cards done. So I'm going to do that. And that. Then I'm going to spend this cube and this cube to take two points and two money. Yeah. Okay, so if I have my two points... If you leave these, the cubes on the card, we'll just we'll just count that as the activation. All right. Uh, sorry, the used markers. Two points, if you don't mind. Two points. And I'm going to spend the two money and these two money here. Four. Four points. Four points. And, and two spaces. Which is four points. Yeah, and also because after advancing at least one space, gain one point. Please. Um, how far ahead are you? Or could I beat you if I do a really bumper turn? You're on 108. You're I'm on right. 143. You need 35 points. I'm really sorry, Jenna. I really love you. But I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to buy that one and that one. So you can buy two because of your... This card, card that yeah. you may to. take possession of a second yeah. block of buildings per round. So three purple and three brown. Yeah. Get you those two. Yeah. So three purple and three brown here. Yeah. Okay. And we so need your two ownership markers. Yeah. For there. So they are. This has got filled up in a three-player game. It'd be yeah. even tighter in a four-player game. So I'm going to go. So oh, you no, can't I've done load the wrong them order. yet. I've done the wrong Where order, are you? I? Oh, I'm here. So you can't load them just yet. And I've got seven cubes. Where do you need to get? I got. It. Can I go one, two, three, four, yeah, five? That's right, isn't it? No, six. Because, yeah, you're not in oh, that's a C. Six. Okay, and I've got 
Six. One, two, three, four, five. I've got six. Okay. Okay, so I will go. One, two. two. Drop off any tiles. Deliver these two here. For ten points. For ten points. Uh, yep. And I've also moved two. So you get a point. So I get a point. And do I know to put that one on? That one there. Then I will go there. Yeah. Drop off this fella for, for three. three. One, two, three. That's three cubes spent. I'll pick one up for one coin. Even yeah, though I won't do coin. him. Yeah. <laughs> For a coin, then I will spend another cube. Yeah. To go to there. Dropping your. Oh, sorry. And while I was at that crane, I moved these two on. Yeah. And I will drop off this one here for seven. For seven, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And, and then two cubes left. Two cubes. So I will go one, two. And drop off the crystal glass for three points. Oh, I thought I would have got more points out of that, if I'm honest. I'm thought, still pretty good. I thought I would have been a lot still a lot. Behind. And you're all done. Spent all your cubes. Yeah. All finished. Gemma. And so I'll activate these two cards. Yeah. They're in there. Two are spent. And I have these left here. Which I can do very less well. What have you got? So I'll go one there. And Coffee for four. Four. Oh, I have a point for that one. Point. Two points for that one. Two points. That for one money and one point, but I'll spend the money for two points. So three. You got three points in end game there, haven't you? Because you get two points per resource or thing you've got left. You can't keep more than one resource. Oh. Yeah. Oh okay. Oh Rick's confirmed. Oh is he? Oh right, I see, okay. Sorry, I can't really see the chat from here very well. <clears throat> No more resources on your boats. So what have no you got? Purples and... Um, I've just got the river. Yeah. Um, and I've got the boat. Yeah. Um, so I've got the boat. What colours are they? Have you got any purples there? If you had three black. I don't have any colours now that match. Right. Unfortunately. So um, I will just go up the river. How many can I go up? With... Six? Five, six. So with five, you can go three spaces. And then one left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do that. So one, two, three, getting you two points. And you keep a cube. Right, we're all done. So at the end of round four, we can all keep one cube as normal. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we do final scoring. So any cards that you've got left, unfortunately, you've got one, so you get a penalty token for each one. End of game scoring cards. So who's got cards with end game scoring on? Okay, so I've been cheating. And we need to fix this. It's at the end of the game. No Nobody round. spotted it in the chat. But the card that I've been completely abusing the whole game is an end of game scoring card. Now. What round did you buy it in? Well, I gained six in my last turn, which should have been seven. So I'm, I'm owed one point for the last round. However... You've taken it five I, times. I, I, I have taken it many times before. Oh. Yeah. So, unfortunately, I, without looking back through the video, I the first, I will put a Klingon subtitle at the first point I use it. Yeah. That is not a building, that is not a card that's used. It's an end of game scoring card. You must have like 30 points. I've, too, I've been playing that wrong. I'm pretty sure. So, I'm going to add the one on that I'm, I'm missing. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure I used it last round. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm pretty sure I used it the round before that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the round before There was that. definitely one round where I used it to get one. So it's definitely one. I don't know about any more, but I think that's enough to make the difference. Wow. So yeah, I've been completely cheating with that card and no, nobody mentioned it. Anyway, right. Any other end of game scoring cards? Because you've got one. So I've got one here that gets me two points for each different active one. So I've got 
craftsmen. So one, two, three, four, five different ones. So you get ten points. Ten points. Yeah, so forty-two. What's that? Forty-two. Anybody else got any other end of game scoring cards? I did say this card is stupidly powerful. I was thinking that. I was thinking it's mad that because that card would have won you the game. Yeah, but that's why it's an end of game scoring card, right? Uh, yeah. Penalty tokens. So we've both got one penalty token, so we lose three points. Gemma's got two, so loses eight. Next, districts. So purple district. Uh, who's got the most ownership markers in the purple district? I think that would be Nick. Since yeah. you've got one, two, three, four of them. Mm-hmm. So you get five points. Me and Gemma share second place and get one point each. Okay. In the orange district, Gemma's got three, four. That gets five points. Uh, I've got one and you've got one. So we get one point each. Right, then largest contiguous group. So let's just zoom in on the right section of the board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 24 points. So what does that put me on? So that's 10, 20. I've got, I think my largest group is this one. One, two, three, four, five. So is I that? Get, I get 15. Not yeah. that one. That one. Are they all linked by bridges? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, Gemma's got one, two, three, nine points. Okay, right. Then, stuff that you've got left over. So, um, commodities, dock workers, gold and cubes. I've got three gold and one cube, which is four things. So that's two points. One cube, cube. just half a point. Um, I've got one dot worker, one thing, and I've got one money and one of these. Yeah, penalty marker doesn't count, I'm afraid. That's four points. So you get get one. Uh, And that's it. So 170, uh, 147, 76. It was all looking good for me with, 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 with me cheating. Yeah. Big difference. Big difference in scores. But it was all our first games. I mean, I've played Macau uh, quite a few times, but not for not for many years. Mm. But yeah, turn order was massively important. It happens that you were just doing the things that, that Gemma was about I'm to do. I'm so sorry. I am. I'm going to get hell later. You are going to get hell later on. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay, cool. Thank you. There you go. That's it. That's that's a full three-play game. Now, as I say, we, we've all played this effectively for the first time properly. We did a we did a trial game earlier on today where we only played the first six rounds. So we, we only just got to the point where we, we'd started to get the cubes. Uh, so it's been... How long has it been? What time did we start? Eight. Eight? Yeah. Two and a half hours? Plus a bit of a teach. Yeah. So two hour game? It, it'd be a two, two hour, hour game. Bit. If we played again, it'd be a two hour game. We've been chatting as well. And we've been chatting and, and talking about stuff. I just want to say quickly, though, that we, in the ra- game where we did the seven rounds, Gemma was ahead by absolute miles, weren't you? And then we went downstairs and we conspired yeah. secretly. <laughs> Against her. Yeah. I just had... The, the wrong cards. It just it just on. went wrong, didn't it? Yeah. Cubes yeah. didn't match, yeah. Yeah, mm. it's tricky. Right, just before we disappear, I was going to go through the different modules. So we've played the basic game today, but there are four modules included with the game, and I just want to very briefly just tell you a little bit about them. The first one is, a, is an expansion, is the supervisor and the bailiff. So two extra pieces that come with the game. Um, the last player in order places the supervisor on one of the warehouses. And what it does is every commodity delivered to that warehouse is worth two points. And then after you deliver a commodity to a warehouse, after you deliver at least one, so if you deliver three, you'll get six points. Mm -hmm. And then the supervisor moves. It moves to another one uh, based on the number of water spaces. So it moves to the nearest storehouse or warehouse based on the number of water spaces. Mm-hmm. So it basically, the, the, he moves around. Yeah. Right? The bailiff, um, the second to last player places the bailiff and you place it on a block that has at least two houses. So some of these blocks have only got one house, some of them have got two houses. Uh, and you place it on a block and anybody who buys uh, the commodity from that block pays one fewer resources and then it moves to an adjacent block. 
Okay. okay, so that's that's those two. The second expansion is Secret Orders. Now the game actually comes with a huge load of these. There's four oh, crikey. Yeah, there's 42 of these secret wow. orders in the game. Um, and the way that these work, these are these are quite interesting. So each player will get three of them, or it says you could choose to play with five. Okay. I don't know why you can't play with four, but it's, you can. Um, they're supposed to be kept face down, but again, there's a variant where you could play with one of them face up or two of them face up. Yeah. Now, these are like secret objectives. However, they are secret objectives that are not just for you to accomplish, as long as they are accomplished by the game. So one of them, for example, is that all of the tulips have been delivered. Mm -hmm. So you might have it, but you kind of need the other players to do it. And that's why if you've got it face up, the other players might say, oh, well, you've got that, forgetting that, so I'm not going to do it. Mm. Um, so yeah, they're, they're secret orders, but they're not just things that you have to do. They're things that if they're done by the end of the game, you get the points printed on them. Mm. And there's 42 of them. Do you show the artwork on the back of those? That's really nice. I think it must say welcome to Amsterdam on it. But so this is one of the really secret nice or, secret card. orders, guys. Yeah, really nice little little artwork on the back. But this is one of the secret orders. And if you can work out what that does, I think that's if there is at least two dock workers in the magazine by the end of the game. You will get the points at the top based on, based on the number of players. Right. The third mini expansion is Mr. Stefan Feld himself. So he's basically the Black Marketeer. Um, the first player in order will place this on any one of these spaces. And anybody selling a commodity to the Black Market gets a resource and two gold. So instead of getting one resource or two gold, you get a resource and two gold. And then he moves to an adjacent space. And he'll basically move around until all of the goods okay. have been sold. So that's that. And the fourth one is the extra market tiles. So I mentioned that in setup you have six A's and then six B's. Well, there are C's. So there are C A's and there are C B's. Uh, and they're basically just variants mm -hmm. with, with cool stuff on them. I don't know what that one is. Moved unlimited. Three money to move your barge to wherever you want, it looks like. So yeah, there's just a bit of extra variability wow. um, with these tiles. Be the best oh, free money that, you spend, that you? one, Ulrich just confirmed, that one is for two blue dock workers. Yeah, it's a little uh, bit harder than I just I was going to say, I thought it could be easy. Two blue dock workers. Um, and there's the solo game in Israel. So like okay. Hamburg, there is a solo game that has been developed uh, for Amsterdam. That's it. Game two done. Thank you. Two more to do. I will be back next Friday with a playthrough of New York City, which is game three. Uh, in the Steffenfeld City Collection. So, yeah, if you're interested in that, join me next week. I'll be doing an unboxing video for it probably on Tuesday because um, I haven't even opened it yet. Um, and then I'll be doing a live playthrough on Friday evening next week. And then the week after is Marrakesh. And then that's the first four done. So, thank you very much to you two for joining me again. Thank you. Thank you very much to everyone for joining. As mentioned at the start, if you are able to support me on Patreon and help keep the channel going, it's patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Your support is very much appreciated. And that's everything. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.